Okay, so um, so I, I haven't actually turned your microphones on, <laughs> but but welcome welcome everybody uh, to um, this is uh, this is actually our uh, adventure box from the tail from Rusty Speeder. This is a um, Star Wars Edge of the Empire adventure. Let me turn everybody on, and y'all can say hello and introduce yourself. Hello, hello, hello. I am E3T. Also known as Jim's friend. Well, that's going to be a short game because now only one of you are speaking. Uh, I'm I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> say say hello. Who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Krusk. I am the lovable but also despicable Trandoshan bounty hunter. I'm the skipper to uh, the captain. Captain Snatch. He's a lizard person. Yes, I'm a lizard. Transition. Yeah. I'm Captain Snatch. <laughs> Captain Snatch Sparrow, and um, or Snatch Squatch. I'm a giant, <laughs> um, a little bit of an oversized Wookie. I'd like to imagine at least, and um, I have no hair. I have a skin condition. Um, I'm the captain of um. A YT freighter, and uh, Krusk and um, Pete are P three T three are my trusty crew, and we've been um, going at this for a while, trying to figure out where our place in the galaxy is. <laughs> and I'm heavily addicted to spice. Did you know if you were a Pokemon, you would be considered shiny? Shiny? Yeah. Is that when you have an addiction? No. Oh. Shiny is like a one in a thousand chance of a Pokemon spawning. Typically miscolored, but it could oh. refer to any uh, genetic recessive trait, <laughs> such as large size or furless or other things. Oh, that's interesting. No. Yeah. All right, so if I can have each one of you, let's get a dice pool going on. If we can roll the nice white die. As we do that, we'll kind of hit a little bit about where we've been so far. This job was presented to you oh. by... Oh, that wasn't me. Oh, yes. God. Um, so we have... Uh, one light and two dark. So, um, I, every time, every time I forgot how I actually pronounce this dude's name, um, <laughs> what y'all have been calling La Madeline, uh, yeah. Lam <laughs> Adel, uh, Adeloan, uh, is the one who presented this job to you. He is a, um, uh, one of, uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of a smuggler in the... Inner worlds. Uh, doesn't get out this far very often, but uh, a box was stolen from him. He would like the box back. Uh, he does not want the box opened. He wants it back. That has taken y'all over to Tatooine, where, um, oh, you were also warned that uh, both the huts and the uh, Empire would be interested in said box. Um... Once you got over to Tatooine, you discovered uh, a, a very large group of people who were um, uh, kind of had their base in Mos Eisley, but uh, were, were also kind of coordinating with a hideout in the desert where the box was. And um, uh, they were, you know, preparing the transport and were actually hiring people to guard the box while they got transport. Uh, nearby. One of the people you saw there was Mur Tax, who is a Duros bounty hunter who works for the Huts. It took y'all a very, very long time and some help from your game master to figure out that the original smugglers had already been dealt with by the Huts, and now the Huts were just coordinating the, uh, the, the swiping of the box. And so... Y'all were being transported out there, newly hired 
uh, to help out with um, uh, with guarding the box in the meantime when um, the 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 people who were transporting you were slowly starting to figure out that y'all were not who you said you were a fight ensued y'all won and I believe that y'all have sent um, Snatch back to the ship in order to bring the ship to the location while Pete and Krusk go forward to the to the location of the of the box um, since y'all are relatively certain that Murtax is probably figuring things out and is not ridiculously far behind. Is that about where we were? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Snatch, did you roll your um, your dice? Uh, your uh, um, well, well, just one white. One white. Am I in the right place? I don't know. No. I thought did I'm on Sky. Follow the link that I sent. Follow, follow, yeah. the, follow the links in the. I did. In, in I the channel. I'm on, I'm on Rusty Speeder Game. A oh, Rusty. But oh, why, let's not announce oh. the world Say where that. we are. Oh, uh, wah, wah. security breach. Did you put <laughs> the username? Do you have a player name? Yeah. Hold on. I can't I'm spell grab right. A beer while you figure that out. I'll be right back. <laughs> People are leaving already. We're streaming. <laughs> hey, man, he's not starting the action tonight. Snatch is starting tonight, so it's okay. At least in theory, he's starting tonight if he can figure out the dice roller. There we go. Oh, okay, nice. I All would, right. I would like to use my white light side immediately before someone else takes it. <laughs> okay. Um, what's his name? Murtax, his speeder. The engine is gonna go <laughs> and and like catch on fire and break. Or blow his legs off. Wow. Blow his legs off. You know, I this mean, is I this just... is like one of your great enemies of the game of the entire campaign. Like I set uh, this guy uh, up to be a, conti a continuous <laughs> thorn in your side for for decades, perhaps decades to come. He <laughs> takes that back. Blow his head off. Blow his head off. <laughs> and you want a single light side point to? My goodness, my hair got messed up at the farm today. Uh, <laughs> Y'all want to sing, use a single light side point to to destroy. <laughs> I just wanted to destroy his speeder. Um. What? Okay. What I can do? What I can do is I could add a delay. Now, one speeder. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, there were there were, they had a lot of transport vessels where they were. So one speeder's not going to hurt him. They're like slow him down unless he's halfway there but i can say he's been delayed oh uh, so i didn't know he had a bunch of people with him uh, yeah um, yeah they have a whole um well you I, and you don't know for sure that he's with this you know this uh, this large group of people but it seems like he is right because i looked at like the radar last time right so i would have seen if there was more than one speeder Oh, what did we say? Were, were there people coming up from behind? Uh, I know that I knew he was... Quite a ways away. I remember that. I know that I knew he was coming, and okay. uh, I just don't know if I knew whether he was alone or not. Because yeah. I saw... Like, I hacked his GPS device, and then oh, I tried yeah, to, like... I did some that. type of diversion. I, think I tried maybe to send we... him on the wrong way, and he was like, yeah. no, I'm a better computer programmer than you. I'm still going the right way. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, y'all so had that little hack off. Yeah, and he won. And I was just like, break the computer! Haha, -ha, hack this. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> I remember that, too. All right. That's okay, cool. so, okay, yeah, we can say that he, uh, that, uh, he, something happened with his vessel. What if, oh, man, this is a horrible idea. Can instead of that, can I pull up a sandstorm? A, you want a sandstorm? 
you're at Sandstorm. I mean, can I? That would be a significant delay for the whole party and not just one speeder, but also for literally everyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that y'all are very f that far apart. Oh. Bad. Actually, that's good. That's actually good information. Like, well, I, yeah, I, I don't know how big sandstorms are. I, it, I, it seems to me like the. Can we you pull know... up a sandworm, possibly, sure. and I can get some spice off it? <laughs> no. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm com I'm comfortable saying that. Okay, he's, he's been delayed. If, if you want a sandstorm, I think that's going to hit the entire area. Yeah, I mean that would delay everyone, right? Including me and and Snatch and yeah, everything. Right. So is that what you want? Uh, I'll just go with his engine fire. And... <laughs> All right. I, mean, I want I want to, but it just seems like a really really bad idea. Okay. Dysentery or like some form of like stomach bug. They had bad. They ate bad noodles he, last night. He, he poops in his spacesuit and uh, feels uncomfortable and goes home. <laughs> he just feels gross. He's tired of this mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's uh, let's stick with uh, Krusk and, and Pete for just a minute here. Um, you are coming up to where you know this camp to be. Oh. And um, and so, uh, do you want? Uh, are 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 you going to be waiting for Snatch's return, or are you going to uh, move forward with um, whatever you want to do? I would want to personally. I would want to move forward until I have line of sight, yep. or at least until Krusk has line of sight, because you know I might reflect the sun. <laughs> Yeah, I might have better eyes. I think I do. <clears throat> All right. And so... Um... Maybe if we get a sensor reading of the camp, um, you know, on the speeder. I don't know. I, I had a feeling there was some information about the camp and about our pursuers that I've, I've, I don't recollect. Um, um, they... They were about right at the end of last session. He, you kind of went over it, right? Like uh, Kai kind of went over it. I thought there were, we knew there was people there, but we haven't gotten, and we knew that that we were being sold out. Yes, and Which we is knew why that. that was the hint that I got that led me to kill that guy in the speeder. So, <laughs> I guess the question is, I don't remember if he called back to the other people or if he called forward. Um, he, he called back. He called back, and he was turning around, and you were like. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, let's, we can continue on if you want to, Pete. I'm um, I'm assuming you're flying this thing because since I don't have thumbs, we're we're walking now. Oh, we don't. We I'm I thought we had two sure, speeders. I'm pretty sure we broke them. I took one. I know for the, sure we broke one. Natch took one no, back. No, no, y'all, y'all, y'all both had y'all both had the speeders. Yeah, we um, had the speeders. Yeah, the, and I think one of our ideas was to send one off as a decoy, maybe send some kind of like homing thing or. I'm pretty sure the one that we had the gun mounted on the back, um, is broken and doesn't move anymore. Right, because there was a whole fight after we took over those two speeders. Yeah. 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 So and I they, yeah did but did want... Snatch took one right? Left before the fight ensued. Yeah, I, I think he left before the fight ensued. Yeah, because I wasn't I wasn't helping in that fight. Yeah, because gotcha. uh, we were on the me and Krusk were on the same speeder, and then Krusk jumped well, off on the other dude's speeder, and ours broke because it got shot too much. Well, yeah, there were, but there were more than two vehicles. There were a couple of speeders, and then y'all's y'all's just uh, yeah, what, what are they called? The transport ship. And so I I think you're on a vehicle. I can't remember if it was a speeder or if it's on that ship. We're on a, we're, I believe we're on a speeder approaching the zone. Yeah. Uh, you know what right. happened is that I I had uh, Pete and I were actually on different speeders. I had killed the guy that was on my speeder because I got tipped off. Pete had no idea why I'd killed that guy until his the pilot that was driving his speeder turned on him, 
And then I eventually jumped over to his speeder and we killed that guy together. Um, and then I think we had to flee and we fought some other guys. So I think we're still on a functional speeder. Or at least we have access to one. <clears throat> okay. All right. Pretty... Well, one way or another, y'all are coming up. Y'all are coming up to the camp. Sure. And um, and so there's like this, the these uh, cluster of these big giant rock structures that um, kind of kind of overhang in into this uh, into this just little kind of alcove out in the desert. And, um, you know, just approaching, you, you're realizing, hey, this is this is actually a really great place to hide. There's a lot of, uh, you know, overhang from the rocks, uh, some good shade. Uh, and, and also, you know, it, it won't be uh, it won't be the, the, the easiest thing to notice from the air. And so uh, there's there's kind of this entrance between these two two rocks coming in and you st you, you you look in and you can see. Uh, going in there that uh, there are a couple of, of just uh, temporary um, uh, temporary uh, one like one temporary structure and then the rest are just kind of like you know makeshift tents and in, in areas see any people through that gap in the rocks uh, not at the moment you're kind of limited on what you can see uh, if you want to try to get closer you probably can and there was an anticipation that there was a ship there, correct? Or was it? It was not landed yet. It was incoming. Right. Yeah. the uh, the The whole thing was they they have not been able to spare a, a ship large enough to actually grab this thing, uh, and they're expecting it at pretty much any time. But it could be a, a few days. Sure. Is there any way to scale these rock structures? Or are they kind of sheer? Um, I mean, you you would you would actually have to climb them. You can't just walk up them. But yeah, you no, can, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, you could probably do it. Uh, I'm gonna give that a try. I might try to do to do some climbing on the uh, sort of northwest structure there a little bit to see if I can gain some ground. Gain a vantage point, but also try to, if I do make any noise, try to make as little noise as possible, obviously, by being as far away from the encampment as I can be. Ugh, fine. I'm just trying to pull up my character sheets because I forgot to pull those up. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't have mine up either. I really oh. should have leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> My poor guy is like four levels behind. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have let you level up right now. We're right in the middle of an adventure. Sure. But once we're sure. done, we, we will. All right. So, um, climb. There's no climb. No, yeah. It'd be athletics. Uh, it's simple enough. Um, if you want to give me, um, uh, three greens, uh, which against two purple. This would be a good time to make note that if we do have anybody in the viewing audience, you are collecting channel points. These are called techno coins. They're in the bottom uh, corner of your chat window, right below the uh, the field that says send a message. If you look in those and you have one option to give players a black die uh, in a roll and one for a blue die. The black die is a setback die and that hurts the player's chance of getting a success. The blue die is a boost die, and that is uh, that helps them in their roll. And you can use your player, uh, your um, channel uh, coin, uh, techno coins, at any time to uh, to use it for that purpose. Uh, I, as I was I was making that big giant speech, uh, Crust did not wait to see if anybody would help him out. With that, but uh, but you did get um, that's his yeah. style, unfortunately. Uh, so <laughs> so you got a success, but you also got a threat. All right. So uh, you you did successfully get up to the top. And uh, let's load up some of our people here. 
I will I will hold uh, I will hold that uh, threat um, uh, for a little bit. Okay. Um, and so. Uh, what what you see if um uh, oh let me let me show the audiences is you got three humans one of them is actually on top of a rock uh he's kind of facing outward though and so uh you ha uh, you have not been spotted by him and you are able to kind of position yourself so that you can see fine without kind of risking your um your uh location and all and you do see a couple of humans uh down toward uh, to, down in the camp itself, they are armed. They don't seem particularly, you know, um, watchful. Uh, up with up on the rocks with that one guy, uh, he does have a uh, a a larger, um, you know, what's it? Uh, gun, a gun, large gun, heavy gun. On the thing. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Is it an e-web? Is it a repeating blaster? Yeah, it's one of those. Oh. Big gun. He has a big gun. Is it the one? Uh, he can't pick it up. What's that? Is so it like a one? mounted weapon? He can't pick yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on tripod, and okay. uh, he, he's, yeah, he's not—he's not, he's not like holding it or pointing it at you. He's, he's pointing it at Pete. No, I'm joking. Oh, I was I was prepared. <laughs> With toilet paper. Right. No, I, I was I was gonna have some line. And by prepared I mean I had nothing to say and I was about to make something up. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. <laughs> So the gap between these two, I, I don't. Are these rock structures very large? Uh, you you know where you are now, you're probably a good fifteen feet off the off the ground. Okay. What about the gap in between the north and the? I imagine that I could see how far that second rock structure is from the one that I'm on. Uh, you probably have to like uh, you know, climb down at least a little bit. Uh, between the two. Up. Yeah. Okay. And then do I see anything on the horizon? Any speeders, incoming craft, any kind of anything unusual that I would um, want to? That's I a can... good question. Why don't, why don't you do uh, perception um, uh, against four purple? Two yellow and green against one, two, three, four. And uh, there's a success in five threats. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. Wow, you saw a lot. <laughs> a lot uh, of guys that were there three seconds ago. You see, yeah. you see some like you see some like, you know, like a like a dust cloud in the far distance. You you imagine it to be something moving in your direction. It is a very good ways off. Um, uh, so that you know you're not able to see anything except like just that that haze of 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 sand being kicked up by something okay uh i have a suggestion that i probably shouldn't give since five is a lot of threat like a lot a lot it is a lot uh, it's six actually because we have one left over from the other right for my other role if you would like to hear a suggestion. Sure. sure. We, he sees a ship coming in. You know, that one that could have show up at any time or sometime in the next few days. Yeah. Oh. Is this enough threat for that? Um. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I thought you might. I like that. Sorry, guys. Not sorry. <laughs> but sorry. 
So, yeah, it's still far enough away that you're not getting a good read on it, but... Um, but I can estimate how, I mean, that it's... It's coming. A distance away, several miles or something. Yeah. I'll relay that information over my data pad to the rest of the crew. Okay. So, do I have contact with you guys through the data pad still? Or through our, our comms? Yeah. Or yeah. are mm -hmm. our comms still up and running? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Hold on, hold on. Wait, never mind. So, uh, if you want to jump over to Snatch real quick, the ship yeah. that you see, because you're a bit closer, is uh, the Fire Spray System Patrol Craft. This is the same type of ship Fire that Bubba Fett had. Oh. You just gave it away. Okay. What, what did I give away? Nothing. Thank <laughs> you. Did we lose somebody? Yeah, Snatch can't be heard. I think that was Snatch. I'm not sure. That was uh, Atropos. Oh, okay. We lost California. I could hear him. It's just a very quiet. All right. Well, while while he's trying to reconnect, Snatch, let's jump over to you. You are heading very quickly back to Moss Eisley. You are doing your best. You see, kind of the incoming traffic. Um, they seem to be having engine problems. Um, and so yeah, I've got I've gotten this. Wait, say that again. You are you are going back into Maz Eisley to get your ship, right? You you see some you know like the uh, you know some speeders and trans uh, you know uh, I, I, let's just say a, a big transport heading heading uh, toward you and so you avoid them, but they they do seem to have, have had some some engine problems on the way and so they're uh, you know they're they're stuck in one spot at the moment. These are just ships I'm seeing coming out of the city right okay Spears. i mean if you want to get Spears. really close to them i'll tell you who's the, who's there but i assume you don't want to i don't yeah i want to just get back to the ship as fast as possible so i'll okay. take a wide berth all right um last time i believe uh krusk had sent a distress signal to the empire uh centered on the house where we were so hired so yeah. i just want to make sure that that's not forgotten. Thank you. Oh, I did. Why did I do that? <laughs> wait, that wait. So where did you? Idea. Where did you send that? I don't remember, but it sounds he, like he, he, just, he just sent the. I'm pretty sure he sent it. Uh, I remember discussing it. I think he sent it. Uh, there was an Empire ship. I don't know if it was in orbit or if it was just to like yeah. the outpost in town, but I think it was to a ship in orbit because uh, that's you yeah. know where a distress signal would go. And um, you sent it from the place that we were, where we saw Murtaugh. Yeah, yeah. He's like the distress is coming from the house where we got hired, yeah. and all yeah, Murtaugh. it's to yeah. like distract them. Yeah. Well, and also, yeah, they don't. That's that's a hut or whatever thing. So. Or I don't actually know who's working for yeah, who. I, I don't even remember. Empire. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember we're yeah. trying to steal this box. All right. So that's what I'm. Yeah. So I, I get the information from uh, the guys and they are. They're also relaying to me that they see this incoming ship in the distance. It looks like it's a, a ship, ship in the distance. Yeah. So I know which direction it's coming from and everything. Yep. Uh, yeah. Which direction, according to the map? It's it's basically coming uh it's coming from the west uh which is more or less kind of in the direction of Moss Eisley. Um, so kind of I would have passed them. No 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 you passed you passed. Where, where did I go? I went I left from the east or the west or the north or the south. You are heading west. Okay. All right. So you uh, you have passed um what 
what you assume to be Murtax and whoever he brought along with him. Uh, and that, that was just, that was just, a, you know, a, a, you know, a, some hovercraft or something, but they broke down. In so front that, of, so I would have known that that was them though. Cause they, so if they're assuming. telling me this information, so I'm thinking that's Murtax when I pass them right, on a that's other what little speeder. Oh, uh, okay. Right. And they probably saw me too. So, okay. Okay. Storing this in my brain. Okay. Um, and, uh, and so now farther to the West is, uh, is the, the fire spring and it's heading toward, toward you and then toward, uh, in turn the camp. The fire spray. Yes. It's the same kind of ship as slave one, but we don't know who's on it. Just think slave one, except it's not slave one. This is like slave 12. I don't know. It's indentured servant seventeen. <laughs> right. <laughs> American. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> um okay. stars and stripes on it and everything and everything. <laughs> All right. So am I back at Moth Isley yet, or are we going to switch back to the guys? Uh, okay, so let's do um, let's do a uh, piloting planetary roll, and what this is going to decide is how fast you can make this trip. All right, um, and so uh, you're going to roll it against four purple. Now, unless you just bomb it that that doesn't mean you it's a failure is not going to mean a fail it's just going to mean you're slowed down now if you bomb it you bomb it and that's going to be hilarious double bomb it <laughs> sure may not you gotta find it first does uh, plan- anybody in twitch that's, have a that's two yellows and a green against yeah. uh and then what's that black purple? thing next to it that means that if you did have a setback die it, you would negate it Oh, minus the black I see. Right, it. yeah. Which which I actually I was gonna I was gonna add one to you, uh, because of the terrain and all, but uh but essentially you negated that, so that doesn't matter. Because I'm pretty good. You're pretty you're pretty darn good. Say you're not that. pretty good. You were more than adequate. Well, you're adequate. Some people would say that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect and I'll be right back in like ten seconds. Okay. Whoa! Nice. Oh, nice. sick. Nice. So, Wait, what do you want your vanish vanishes to be? Well, um, there's a group of orphans on a day trip out in the desert, and I see them, and uh, I see a rock outcropping ahead of me that I'm pretty sure I can ramp and do a 360 in the air, and I do that, and I still make it back faster than I normally. <sighs> Uh, done. And the orphans are That's going to be talking the, about this for weeks. The worst advantage ever. Yeah, you just burn that. I mean, goodness. <laughs> no, nah, dude. No, no good deed goes unpunished. Or wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping out, dude. <laughs> well, I thought it was like something like uh, virtue is its own reward. Wait, <laughs> none of these are working. All right, Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Exactly, you know. Well, uh, okay. Um, well, no, I included and I got there extra. Natch is, is doing spice, getting high, doing flips in the air. <laughs> Having a good old time. I gotta stay in character, man. We're in dire straits. <laughs> hey, dude, but I'm building up a legacy, like a legendary status. Like this might be like, this might turn out to be the end of this episode. Might turn out to be Return of the Jedi. Where the orphans all gather together and throw rocks over the edge of buildings on unsuspecting villains who are Ooh. trying to encircle us. So for the next time that we come back to the hive of all scum and villainy, <laughs> you have the orphans on your side. That's awesome! <laughs> Yay! That's, that's going to be a huge advantage down the road. If I, if we don't all forget that, which we will. <laughs> well, they won't. Because you said they wouldn't. I won't. All right. Um, oh my goodness. So head. Let's head back over. Uh, I don't know if we have Pete back yet. Um, I'm here. Okay. Cool. cool. So we're gonna head back over 
into the desert. Um, Y'all got ships on your tail? Limited time? You know, you got minutes. Minutes to act. What's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to relay everything that I see to Pete and sort of ask what he thinks. I'm going to say, hey, man, I see ships incoming. There's people here, here, here. And I'm going to like sort of try to like send a little bit of a grid drawing similar to what I'm seeing on Roll20 and uh, <laughs> via the data pad and say, hey, what, what do you think? And how many minutes did that drawing take you? <laughs> Probably, yeah, 14. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, the ship here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it was a really bad drawing, kind of like There's the one I'm looking at. He's, he's still frantically scribbling. <laughs> I'm going to say it took about, you know, the same amount of time that uh, Kai took to draw this one. Which is, you know, 10, 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, this is what people tune in for, is the high-quality graphics. Right. That's right. That's custom right. backgrounds. Yeah. Hey, it's that, on that, it. In that picture of Murtax on the, on the, on the feed, cool. which is just and, amazing. And... Lily, 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 lily. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. What you think, Pete? Uh, we can launch an assault, but I, I'm a little afraid, man. There's three guys, huh? Yeah. So, three guys that we know of. What? Hmm. Do we have any explosives? Any toilet paper? I have toilet paper, but only a couple yeah. rolls. Maybe we can set <laughs> some of these things on fire. Start um, a rock slide. I don't know. Start a rock slide. What if? I could draw them out towards you. I could. Uh, we could make a, a a scene, and I could try to make a a rock slide or some sort of choke point. Between these uh, cliffs here, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, I guess. Uh, I finally the, the stumped you. I'm so proud of me. Uh, I'm a little stumped. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It, the speeder that we came in with, it's got blasters on the front, right? Yep. Yes. So. All right, park it. Park it in that channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to start yeah. making a distraction and draw those guys towards you. I'm gonna look around and see if there are, if there's any way that I can dislodge a significant amount of rocks on these, on one of these mesas. Um, yeah. either that's one of the one across from me. We'll deal with that other guy on the other cliff later, I guess. Yeah, do I see any cave openings or anything? No. Okay. Then yeah, I'll go ahead and uh can I see, you know, the the black square on the top? Can I see that through this gap? Yeah, sure. Okay, then I want to park the speeder like right here. Okay. Very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> what butter butter. <laughs> All right, can I see if there's any way that I can cause some kind of landslide with my blaster? I have that shotgun blaster or um, anything else that I have on me. Uh, I would have given it to you for a light side point, but you don't have one to spare. So I, I'm going to say it looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I'll have to default to jumping down on them. Um, As per usual. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't really coordinate this attack a whole lot. It, I'm going to need to see on the picture if he's jumping. Yeah. I'm going to need to see where that jump is because I'm going to be right here. I was about to start blasting, but he's. I think you should blast as much as you can and do as much damage as you can until that's no longer a good option, and then I'll jump down. I was going to say, I was literally about to start blasting and. I would hate to start blasting and then you just jump into my laser beams. That would be awesome, but unfortunate. Maybe can you rig the speeder to explode, like to drive forward and explode? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't try that. I would be like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, after you're done blasting, can you rig it to uh -huh. fly forward and explode like a bomb? You are the computer guy, after all. 
Oh, be more dead. mechanics, but I suppose unless yeah, no, I'm know. just gonna go ahead and start shooting, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, all right. All right. So you're shooting you're inward. Just, just shooting towards that house, I guess. Yeah, I'm shooting the house. Okay. The black square. Ba -bow, ba -bow. All right, uh, Crust. Uh, you oh, moved over. Are you still trying to hide? I am trying to hide on this cliff edge, like laying flat, crawling. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, give, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. Okay. Against two purple. <laughs> All right. One success. One success. Okay. You hide when that guy with the mounted gun um, uh, turns, uh, t you know, turns kind of startled, uh, grabs the gun and starts firing. You see these, these other two guys, you know, kind of hide down in place um, from this far building. Um, which, which one has the mounted gun? The one this on top. Up in the top right. Oh, the one who has line of sight for me. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Well, he he can't he can't quite see you from there. Oh, okay. But the uh, this uh, this um, building right here uh, opens up suddenly, and very very quickly, you see an IG droid come out and uh. start twirling the guns around and seemingly a uh, aimlessly. Uh, firing, but actually, you know, hitting hitting the rock wall in 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 pretty nice succession. Rock wall over here on the right, yeah, northwest side. Okay, where I am. All right. Do Doesn't I seem think... like. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you go. Do IG units have like? Bluetooth or anything? <laughs> Bluetooth? Or like, 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 are they connected to the outside world through the internet, or are they, like, uh, air-gapped, technically? So what I'm trying to ask is, would I be able to possibly override his programming remotely? Um, I don't, I don't think it would be possible to do that. Okay, am I familiar with this IG model? Like, really, really, really familiar? I see, yeah. Like, can I pull up his specs in my mind? Familiar? Yes. Oh, amazing. Um, <laughs> I wanna... So I want to see if, the... and, and hopefully, you know, I didn't, once again, waste my light side point for nothing. Uh, and this can be done without it. <clears throat> I want to see in those specs, is there any um, audio override for his control system? Like a password? Yeah, like a password. I'm going to say no. Even if it would be something encrypted that I might have to try to break. But yeah, if you say no, I mean, then, if you, if you plug no. If you plug into him... Then you can probably, you know, unhook some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of thinking about the IG droid in Mandalorian. Right. But yeah. they had to kill him first. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I can relay to Snatch that we are in contact with at least three enemy personnel and an IG unit. Oh. Okay. So Snatch at this point is getting into the ship. Uh, he took a little nap. No, I'm joking. And uh, he's 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 revving it up to to get uh, to get out of dock. And how how yeah. long will it take me to get over there so I can tell him? Because I should be able to know. Just a just a couple minutes. Okay. I'm like, hang on. I'll be there in a couple minutes. All right. I'm gonna make a mad dash for this gap here on roll twenty. And see if there's. I'm just gonna ju try to jump. Okay. Right here. I'm just gonna try to jump. Where? All right. Right here. There you go. Oh, okay. Athletics roll. All right. Not my uh, strength, but that's fine. Mm. It's gonna be. It's gonna be two purple. 
Okay. Three success and one advantage. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, so what's your advantage going to be? Gosh, uh, that I will not have alerted the uh, gunner. He, he's totally unaware that I'm approaching. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. And I'm going to continue to approach from the back at an angle where I can sort of try to bypass his sight, line of sight, and uh, launch a sneak attack of some sort. Yeah. All right, Pete. Uh, in, in the specs for the IG droid, is there anything about manufacturer re About what? <laughs> manufacturer recall <laughs> protocol. No. So I can't tell him he's being recalled. Uh, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta use a persuasion thing. <laughs> All right, I want to... I want to. Um, I mean, know. look. This is like this is an assassin droid. It doesn't make sense for them to like give passwords that people can just yell out to make them yeah, stop, yeah, yeah, or yeah. or phrases to I, say, "Hey, I, you're being I recalled." <laughs> oh. I gotta try though. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna say it um, in a loud enough voice to be heard over the distance. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see what what do I think his name would be? You just call him IG unit. I was gonna call him IG seventeen. Uh, but yeah, IG unit probably makes more sense. So I, I would guess that you have about a one in a ninety nine chance of it to being an IG. I don't know how they number those things. But... Oh man, I would I would love for that. I, I would. I would pick IG-17 and roll a D-100. Okay, uh, let's do it. <laughs> so I'm going to say, you know, IG-17, your weapon system is malfunctioning. You have been manufacturer recalled. Report immediately to your manufacturer. Uh, and, and and then where is this website for rolling dice? Here I am. Too many windows open. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, this is an IG-78. What a shame. <laughs> Imagine if it had been a 17, though. <laughs> You'd be like, what? <laughs> I don't have a manufacturer. All right, well... <laughs> and I'm still shooting my lasers at that building. Okay. Um... He is, uh, yeah, and it's pelting it pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, if there was anything in there, then it's probably not there anymore. Um, the well, IG unit. The, the, I, we're gonna have to, we we'll have to roll a, a, you know, one in three chance of it, I guess. For, um, for the box, yeah. Yeah. Um, the IG unit is is going to be very swiftly moving this way. And uh, it says, uh, uh, you know, commencing weapon system test. And it just <laughs> swings all arms forward and just starts blasting. Um, Is forward towards me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice test. <laughs> all right. He is going to have a, he's going to have a disadvantage because um, he, you're, you're you're sitting in a, you know, a speeder, so you're partial cover, but uh, okay. he is actually aiming at you and not the speeder. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's pretty good use. So. Holy crap! <laughs> I died. Oh wow. Um. Um, yeah. So, uh, you, you just, you completely just get knocked completely off that thing and you are in the, in the dirt. Um, uh, am I dead? You are severely hurt. It's very hard to die in this game. But <laughs> you are, you are, um, you are below zero hits. 
Am I able to take actions when I'm below zero hits? No. Mm -mm. Can I speak? Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Then uh, I'm going to say, uh, weapons test failed. <laughs> um, he did roll severe, severe disadvantages. He rolled five disadvantages. See, the test failed. So what would y'all what would y'all like for his disadvantage? He, th he thinks the test failed and his weapons don't work. I'll go with that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, his target That's, doesn't I mean, his target isn't there, so obviously he didn't hit it. <laughs> that that will be a limited time reaction. He's not gonna sulk away. Yeah. 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 Um but he'll lose a couple rounds of shooting. Yeah, and I tell you what, that was five disadvantages. I'm thinking about this too. Thanks. That when I'm that when guy. that when you got hit, you like you're like falling backwards, and that like sends the speeder like arcing upwards and shooting uh -huh. kind of crazily through the air. Uh -huh. Um. I would be okay with it hit with it hitting uh, his mounted gun up in the up in the uh, the cliffside there. See, this is starting to feel more and more like canon Star Wars, where things go just so, and I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is definitely that scene where you know. Uh, 3PO and R2 are like, they're just feet are sticking up from the sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So these guys are heading, uh, heading over to, uh, uh, kind of getting behind, uh, the other two guys on the ground are getting behind this, uh, this rock wall and kind of peeking around. Krusk, your bud is in the sand. Feet up. Yeah. So, do, do has the speeder hit this this location then? Uh, it hit the it hit the weapon. Yeah, I mean the guy's still alive. The guy's still fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. And I'm assuming that I'm aware that that Pete got hit pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and relay that again to Snatch. Say, you know, hey, Pete's down. Uh, I need you. I need you to get here. Stat. There's an IG unit. He's, you know, we're getting smoked. And uh, while I'm relaying that to him, I'm going to close the close the uh, gap on this guy and uh, engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with him. As All right. usual. All right. Well, let's smack him around a little bit. Let's do two purple. All right. So let's see. Make sure that's right. Yep. And I will roll. That's going to be two success, two advantage. Nice. Okay. So he goes down. Um, he, he, you know, he's like, he's like, he kind of, he kind of stepped back when the, when the gun got hit and, it, and it's uh, smoking and he's kind of just staring at it and he kind of like, kind of pokes at it to see if it's still working. And then you're like right up on him and he turns around and he's, and you know, just sees you right when he's, he's being um, <laughs> destroyed. Uh, Just, yeah. And so he, he goes down. Um, uh, snatch. So where you are, you see, uh, you see the indentured servant 17 landing and picking up those people that had been stranded, uh, from their, uh, from their engine malfunction earlier. And so you are now ahead of them. Um, well, I did your server 17? The, the, the slave ship. Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Every, every time I mention this ship, y'all are like, wait, what? what? It's the fire I what spray. I don't know what he's talking about. I what he's talking about. Uh, hey. But I'm not doing spice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew okay. what you were talking about. I'm down to the bottom of the bag, so it's really strong. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so I um, I passed them. You saying? 
Because they're still having engine trouble? Right. Unless you want to stop and engage them. Uh, no. no. <laughs> but I do want to have all of my weapon systems um, kind of on auto fire. Um, just, you know, basically, sure. right? I'm coming, I'm coming in hot. And I tell the guys that. I'm like, say, I'm coming in hot. I guess I'm going to come. I'm going to do a loop de loo I'm going to swing by, use my magnetic thing to pull up uh, Pete, the little grappler hand that they had in no. uh, Return of the Jedi. I'm going to pull Pete out of the sand. No, actually, I could probably wait to do that. Too. No, I'm going to do that first. You um, haven't gotten that far. Let's get... Let's... <laughs> Okay, so as I approach the structure, like, so how far? I mean, you're, how you're am I there? You're not there yet. Well, what else? I'm going, like, full speed, so... You're going yeah, full you're speed. Good. You're, like, tens of rounds away. You're not... <laughs> you're not tens of rounds away. <laughs> we'll go a little bit faster than that. Um, uh, yeah, Star Wars rounds are not six seconds. Uh, okay. Um, okay, um... Krusk, if you could roll... Uh, if you could roll a stealth roll against three purple. Oops. Well, that's going to be two threat. Ooh. All right. Well, the two threat are the uh, two guns of the IG unit that uh, just spotted you. And so he's moving into position to get a better shot at you. I will give you part. I will give you um, a dis. Uh, uh, give him a disadvantage for partial cover. You did. I'm pretty beefy, but yeah, I might be. But I'm pretty beefy. Oh man. Okay. He failed, but he did get a triumph. Right. And so even yeah. though he missed you, he still gets the triumph. All right. Um, he the uh, the disadvantages uh, the threats advantages washed out, and so nothing there. But um, I'm gonna say that where. And um, I feel like I should use a, um, a dark side to make this happen too, but I like the idea and so I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> Where he misses, he actually accomplishes what you were trying to do earlier in causing a little bit of a landslide of rocks and stuff. Unfortunately, they were the rocks that you were standing on and you go tumbling down down the side and in front of them onto the onto the ground level. All right. Now these other two guys they 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 were actually still watching over here because the um the uh, uh speeder is still is still kind of like killing in a circle and doo -doo 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 all over this place and just kicking up um uh, I kicking hope up it sand. Shoot me. <laughs> You felt you felt warmth on one of your feet, just just very briefly, but it was fine. Um, uh, let's see, snatch. You were close enough that you are seeing a lot, a lot of fire from this speeder, and now there's just this cloud above the battlefield that is obscuring everything, and almost like the sandstorm that y'all requested earlier. Turn on so, fire. Uh, I have a question about my not quite death. Am yeah. I in the like 3PO is switched off dead mode or am I in the 3PO is speaking gibberish death mode? <laughs> Which would you rather? Gibberish. Nice. Let's do it. All right. So my first round of gibberish is just weapon system test failed. Weapon system <laughs> test failed. Weapon system test failed. Their weapon system success. <laughs> so that, that's round one of gibberish. All right. Um, uh, so, <laughs> Snatch. 
I'm, uh, you know, you can you can just start firing into this area from this distance. Your aim's gonna be pretty bad, and you don't know what's happening. I'm guessing you don't want to just start firing into the cloud, unless you do. In which case, let's go for it. Uh, I'm sure I have some kind of. Uh, I'm sure sand isn't gonna obscure my ability. Like I could see heat forms and stuff inside there, right? I have like a targeting system. Am I in targeting range? Uh, you're in targeting range. And I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a spaceship. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that you know it. I can pick up like, it, like I have the picks up you know heat I mean? for, forms it's on like, the surface it's, it's in the through. targeting computer. All right, all right, all right. Um, um, do I know where every, where everybody is though? Like I have the same map that yeah they've been sharing with each other, so I've got. Yeah, you have that up. map. You don't know where like. Uh, you know where everybody started. Right. You probably don't know where I am. Um, I'm, com I'm communicating with uh, Krusk. I mean, I I'm, a I'm aware that I guess I'm getting the communication from Pete that he's broken. Um, so, uh, communicate with Krusk. And... Can I hey, communicate hey, back? Man. Yeah, I I I'm almost here. Uh, I see the dust cloud. I'm in firing range, but I... You know, it's, it's iffy whether or not I'll be able to be accurate. I don't want to shoot you. What uh, be, be my eyes. Tell me where I need to come in from, what I need to shoot at, and what I need to pick up, and how to do it. <laughs> See, this is why it's good that this round is in six seconds, because you just talked for, like, three hours. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, hey, it's the southwest structure, southwest cliffs, danger close, danger close. We're within 10 meters. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> okay, I'm letting loose. Oh, on where? Uh, South Southwest structure, danger South close. Southwest structure. I'm I'm shooting at the edge. I'm coming in from the west. I'm coming from the south. No, from, from the, the west. Oh, yeah, yeah, from the west. Yeah, yeah so, okay, I don't so think, I, yeah, I don't think you have a you. Don't, I don't think you you can hit that that building because that's right next to that r rock outgrowth. Well, I'm hitting the top of the rock outcropping, hoping to knock off the rocks onto. I'm just blasting the top of it. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm still coming in. It's not going to slow me down. Yeah. So, um, let's do, let's do a gun, uh, a gunnery and I'll make it, I'll make it, uh, four purples just to see if you can like knock off, okay. uh, uh, some of that and hit one of these guys or something. Three green. All right. White side die too. Say what? I said we do have one white side die. I thought we already used it. One light side. No, we got it back because yeah, because uh, Kai used one. Uh, dark side. Um, let's save it. I okay. think because I think I'm able to do more when I get closer. Or. or I mean, or this that's could fine. be enough. No, that's fine. Oh, oh no. dang! <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. That's not right. It's not right. Oh, it's you, not right. you put them to the purple. Now you have to ro roll four purple separate. Okay. Oh, I, I just goodness. I just looked at the results. I know I did too. I was like, oh my goodness. All right. Oh, he still made it though. Yep, three success. He still made it. Okay, but there's well, some really? disadvantage, so... Let me think about disadvantage, but um, with three success, you just like shear off part of that, part of that rock, and it comes tumbling down. Um, one of the guys gets out of the way, but uh, uh, the other guy uh, gets gets crushed. <clears throat> um, uh, the disadvantage I'm gonna say actually has to do with the other ship, and. Um, they're going to be a little bit faster. Krusk, um, why don't you give me... Why don't you give me an athletics check against three purple to see if you manage to stay on your feet uh, sure. as you tumble down. Success, two threat. Nice. Okay, so you, you landed on your feet and, and kind of ready to go. 
So, uh, what are you doing now? So I see this huge barrage, right? Yeah. And the cliff come crashing down. Do I still have a clear line of sight with the uh, IG unit and the other guy? Yeah, absolutely. Do I see anything else? Do I see the box? Do I see our target? Or is it just these, it's just oh, a cloud of dust and, and, and a bunch of structures? And the structures, right, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just going to barrel down on the, um, I'm going to barrel down on the IG unit. And I'm going to let Kress know I'm saying, hey, I'm closing with the IG unit, cease fire. Okay. Okay, so you're going to shoot him or you're going to charge him? Oh, I'm charging him. I don't want to play, I don't want to gun play with an IG unit. <laughs> I can go, I'll go hand to hand with the, with the droid any day, but I don't want to get in a gunfight with an IG unit. So. All right. All right. Um, Let's, um. And is there any, uh, do I have any familiarity with IG units through bounty hunting work? Uh, I'm, in the past? I would, I would say, I would safely assume so. So I had some idea of where to attack to, uh. Yeah. Give me, give me the best advantage. Break his brittle arms. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Or, you know, some kind of weakness that I might have observed in the past. Turn his head counterclockwise. <laughs> Not well, clockwise. No, if you do right. clockwise, that just makes him stronger. <laughs> that just sets off the bomb it. in their chest. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, and I'll just what, um, Don't you have claws or something? I do. I check. have a... Uh, I have, uh, I do plus one damage and I have a critical rating of three because of the claws with brawling. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's roll, um, let's roll that okay. against two purple. I have three success, one advantage. Oh, nice. So you rip him up pretty good, and um, uh, you you can, uh, you kind of go tumbling with him down into the dirt. <laughs> the other human is just thoroughly confused at this point, and he's turning around. And um, out of desperation, he's going to fire into y'all's brawl. So sure. let's see what he hits. It's, let's first of all see who uh, if he hits, and then. If he, uh, who he is. Okay, he definitely hits. But he hits with disadvantage. So, I'm thinking he's swinging around right when, right when y'all are, like, turning over. And he smacks, um that IG unit right in the back. Um. Well, okay. All right, so the IG unit is going to fight back. All right. And he misses, but it is with advantage. And so I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking his advantage is that he's able to kind of, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't wound you, but he's able to kind of separate himself from you. All right, um, Pete, you yelling anything crazy? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Is this the toilet paper you're looking for? Soft, <laughs> luscious, pliable, three pliable. Better than a bidet. Worse than nothing. Snatch. <laughs> Don't use nothing. That's gross. I'm like, in, I'm in the cockpit and I'm hearing this over the intercom and I'm just shaking my head and smiling like, that's my boy. <laughs> oh, Snatch. What you doing? Um, looking at memes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the character, not the player. <laughs> no, I, he is like. I mean, it's it's taking a you know. I, I had a minute to look down on my phone. Uh, my, I <laughs> <a> pad. 
he, he literally has like up in you know where the the view screen for the ship like the window in front he's got it like uh, <laughs> not in c3 mode but in like computer animated mode and it's literally just memes he's um, like he's like uh he's he's, 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 he's put putting a picture of it he's putting a picture of what he's seeing in front of him on instagram and <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> Just with the, which is just with the caption. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Hashtag droid down. <laughs> Hashtag and, and IG blues. <laughs> Hashtag can't touch this Mertax. Um, <laughs> I. Uh, so, um, do I have a sense that? Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna communicate with Crusk and be like, "Do you see our target?" I'm not able to get a good transmission out. I'm like, sort of screaming through the through the comms. You know, I'm trying to relay it to you that I'm I'm hands on with them. I'm fighting them. <laughs> You're like, I'm busy now, busy yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm there, right? I mean, I'm going like pretty fast. Yeah, you're there, coming. You're now coming stuff. through the sandstorm. You are overhead. Okay, I'm picking up. I'm stopping to get Pete. Okay. And I'm I'm pulling him up into the ship with my magnetic pulley thing. And I'm also scanning. Does this ship I'm have part... one of those? Um. Yeah, it does. We got a droid that we care for, so we probably install it just as <laughs> probably comes with it. You know? you're, you're, you're like you're like we got a droid. We're gonna have to pull him out of the sand at some point. Let's do this the easy way. <laughs> big magnets <laughs> well it's a cargo ship by nature and so i'm sure okay, a lot of cargo pilots right. use yeah. magnetic uh, leverage systems if nothing okay. else you can use the you know that arm for the garbage on the top of the ship oh. well that they pull somebody out of who wait what is that oh that's from the matrix nebuchadnezzar has that uh, arm that pulls neo out of the yeah. slimy water um yeah all but right. some so, other so that would be that would be your move. Um. Okay. Do I also on my sensors? Am I picking up uh, how far away my pursuers might be? They're very close. This Just uh, get less, less than a minute. Uh, they're they're seconds away. Can I um, start shooting in that direction? Sure. Um. You're. Yeah. Yes. This, I mean, it's turn. a long shot, so... Uh, I know, yeah, but uh, it, this if, is even be... if it's... Just to this kind will... of get them yeah. to change direction. Give this us a will little be... Uh, okay, gunnery for purple. Okay. Um, and I'm going to dark side that to make one of those purple... Uh, one of those purples are red. So three uh, purple, one red. Mm. Can we um, add anything to ours? <laughs> you can light side it and, and change a, a green to a yellow. Hold on. Do we have any, we don't have any viewers? I'm the only viewer. Um, <laughs> hold on. Dang. That's rough. I give an opportunity for the studio audience to um, to help, and apparently we're all social distancing. All right, I'm no. Going to, uh, <laughs> False. I just False. spent the, I spent the, I spent the bits on it. Okay. All right. Um, what do y'all think? Bits on this. <laughs> I know I should have. Well, I was trying to buy my my. I tried to buy Steven, but I can't afford Steven, which is kind of weird since I am Steven. I can't afford the graphics Kai's created for to represent the persona he created. <laughs> that is me. I don't, I'm so confused. All right, I'm gonna oh. just do it. Let's do it. Three green, three purple. Wait, it's my. It's it's more than green, right? I'm getting nervous. Are you guys. are you are you uh, using a I'm not gonna flip it. I don't think, unless y'all okay, think I so should. So just flip be it. the greens. Should be getting nervous. You're about to crash your ship into a rock. Told you. Oh. 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 
no, it's a despair. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I told you. You haven't you have an advantage. You have uh you have an advantage, so uh okay, so <laughs> he indeed just that, that one red, that one red. That one red rolled a, a good old fashioned despair for me. Uh, yeah. You did fail your shot. You have a despair, but you did get advantage. So anything you want to do with that before, um, before the despair hits? Um, the advantage is I. Um... The rocks are very soft, lush, and pliable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. Turns out that we had yeah the uh... sandstone. Yeah, it's sandstone. <laughs> it's soft. <laughs> no. I'm going to go with it. Yeah, that's the best I can think of because everything else is, uh, so. Or yeah. you could. I mean, he was trying to get them to turn and take longer to get here, so that could be an advantage. It's like, oh, wow, we're being shot at and they turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, the despair time. Like back one round or something. The despair time is that that spinning speeder, a shooting Ooh. everywhere. Yes. Took an arc up and just ripped laser bolts into the side of your ship, and uh, as it did that, it just tore through. Uh, that section of the hull, you drop Pete back into the sand and kind of go careening off into the north, uh, hitting hitting the sand as you go. Um, you have sustained 10 damage to your hull. Your hull has a, has a wound threshold of 25. So you have banged it up really, really nicely. And we drop Pete. And you drop Pete. Uh, and, um, Crust, we haven't, we, we haven't gotten to you this round, have we? I don't think so. I th yeah, I think it's your turn. I'm wondering what, uh, how, how the IG unit looks. Is he, uh, oh, does he, he looks seem bad. He looks damaged. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm there's, there's sparks. And... Yeah. There's, uh, flickering of lights. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to close in again one more time and just try to take the head off. Um, shut him down. Okay. Uh, let's roll it against two purple. So. That's three advantage, not success. Okay. What, uh, so you miss, but what do you want your advantage to be? Uh, maybe that he's either permanently or temporarily disabled. I mean, not destroyed, but you know, that I, I've really messed him up. I cut some kind of wire where he's not able to navigate or stabilize or something. Um, where maybe he's still a threat, but he's not uh, not able to pursue or effectively anyway. In fact, that's okay. what I wanted. To I want to be. I want it to be that I. It was some kind of stabilization thing where I knocked him over and he can't get back up, but he can still okay. function. But he can't like run around and yeah. do twirly stuff. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Cool. Okay. All right, so... <clears throat> I'm going to break right here. Okay. Because uh, we have been going a little bit, and um, <laughs> this this whole thing will be just one continuous battle, so there's not really going to be a stopping point, good stopping point for us. But I do want to get another drink, and so if y'all don't mind, y'all want to take uh, take our break now. It will come yeah. back. All right, guys, we will be right back. All right, welcome back. All right, I do believe that it is uh, the IG. What was it? Seventy-eight. Right. Yeah time he has fallen over he cannot get up <clears throat> but he is going to shoot his gun all 
All right, that is, he has disadvantage, but he did hit. Krusk, what is, do you have your soak up by chance? I do. Uh, on my old sheet, it's four. I think since then we've done the, let me pull up the gadgeteer. Yeah, it's five. Tree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I added a, a soak to it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So with that soak, he hits you for eight damage. Right. So you are down to nine wound. Yep. Our human friend here <clears throat> uh, is also turning around. And he's going to fire. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he completely fails. And there are disadvantages all the way around. So y'all can pick what you would like to do with those. Ooh, let me look. He got disadvantaged, the human did? Yeah, actually, uh, both of them did. I just wanted to roll them together. <clears throat> sure. Uh... I don't know, maybe all this sus uh, sandstorm, the dust has caused this weapon to malfunction. And it's yeah. uh, it's no longer functioning, he's having to work on it. Okay. Alright. So it's y'all's turn. Uh, I think I've kind of switched up the order as we go, but... Um, what? Uh, Pete, do you want to do you want to do some gibberish or uh, you you've actually <laughs> you were actually halfway up in the air and then you're like wee oh, and then yeah. fell down again. That reminds me, uh, I was gonna do the R two D two noise whenever he gets like thrown or black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. And then. Uh, there was something else I was going to say. The, the, uh, the, uh, Inception. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing that one. That didn't work well. All right, that's it. Um. All right. Snatch, your ship has, uh, just struck the ground. Okay. Did it strike the ground? Yes. And that's where the that's where the damage to the hull came from. Uh, well, the damage from the hull came from the uh, gunfire from the uh, from the speeder. Wait, so why did my ship strike the ground then? Because when it hit, it it kind of careened off into the into the north. It was, it was oh, visual so effects. We're trying, okay. to paint, we're trying to paint a picture with our words so, here. So it was like bang, bang, and bounced off that northwest uh, outcropping or plateau. Sure. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep it on the ground. So instead of rising up off the ground again, it's kind of dragging very, like, on the, it's not dragging, but it's so low to the ground right now. And I'm throttling it over to where I think the box, the box in the middle that I'm suspecting the our objective might be is. And okay, which spot? Which uh, which? Well, building? I don't know. Like the the building in the middle. There's uh, three buildings. Know. There's no building in the middle. There's no building in the middle. No. There's. There's northwest, southwest, and southeast. Northwest. Well, that was the one that we shot to pieces. Oh, yeah, that's that one's pretty much dead. That was smoking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we so, gotta hope that our box wasn't in there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna come down to the the one where um. And I'm on the I'm on the comms with Snatch. I mean, not with Snatch, with uh, Krusk, and I'm saying... <laughs> I'm talking uh, to myself through the comm. Going, we gotta talk to Krusk. <laughs> uh, okay. I agree. Um, Let's get him on the comm. <laughs> so I'm just like, I come right over the top, and I'm hoping that he sees it, and I open all the external hatches, the pedestrian entrance hatches, as, and I'm going slow. 
but and I'm also I'm so I'm coming right over near Krusk and I'm also gonna try to bang into this um, into this container that IG units next to and I'm gonna try to hit the IG unit too. I, I'm just like I'm actually kind of in and out of the sand a little bit like water since I feel like the sand is a little soft and I'm not the uh, so are you trying my... to get crust to like jump into the ship while you're crashing into the ground yeah well, I'm not cr I'm not crashing I'm, I'm I've turned the throttle off so I'm slowly like boom 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 I'm just kind of dragging the ship along the ground I'm trying to okay stay super close and I'm trying to also use the ship to open that container. This is going to be epic. Okay. All right. And I'm going to use a white side die to try to make sure. Okay. These are not these are structures, not the container that we're picking up. Right. Uh, but there's a to... there's, there's a box in one of these three buildings. But Hopefully not to... the one that we've blown up. Yeah. So okay, so you're gonna you're gonna ram into this building, try to ram, you know, try to bounce off the body of the the IG unit while picking up Krusk. Yeah. All right, Krusk, are you going to try to leap into said ship? I. I... Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to do. Like, I guess. No, 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 no. That's fine. It, it, the the the. Um. I was going to bolt into one of the buildings since I disabled the IG unit and look. Um, okay. Well, no, we, in fact, so, I'm going to do that. I'm going to run into the south, uh, the southeast building okay. and I'm going to, I'm going to look in um, and I'm going to relay that information to snatch. I'm going to say, Hey, I'm checking the southeast building, man. So snatch, are you still going to, are you still bounce off the IG unit? Cause I want you to succeed in this. Cause that's going to be awesome. I'm going to try to land on them and like point the head of my ship into that structure and open the structure up. I want to make a hole in it so that I can jump out of my ship and run into the building and check it as at the same time. So like kind of like pop into it, pop a hole in this building while sitting on IG and the other guy, just like turning them into mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to like go, jump out of my driver's seat, run up to the nearest hatch and like jump out onto the ship and run in there with my light and my laser gun and look for the box in there too. Okay. We can definitely do the first part of that this round. Okay. I want piloting planetary. I want four purple. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you, you flipped a white side, right? A light side. Yeah. Okay. So you can upgrade one of your die. Do a yellow. Or should um. Yes, we you got should. two. We got two, so yes, you should. <clears throat> Three green and one yellow. Because my planetary is four. All right, hold on, let me yep. check. Yep. If that's true, then yes, that's correct. <laughs> Let's just make it up, crap. <laughs> let me double check this, because now I'm now I'm doubting it. No, it can't be. It's going to be one yellow, two green, because you don't yeah, have more yeah. than three green at a time. Yeah. Yep. Piloting so be a, planetary yellow, two yellow, actually. So it would be is three two, yellow. Is to be, yeah, three yellow, right. Wow, nice. That's sick. Do it. All right. Break a leg. Or don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, yeah, if, I mean, if this goes badly, he will definitely break a leg. I'm sure he will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? One failure. No, you just totally you messed doing? that up. That's not <laughs> how that works. <laughs> how does that work? That's right. Not how that works. Just okay. forget. Just forget. Okay. He. No. 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 That's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. You just take the white. Uh, the white. I don't know why you died. <clears throat> what did I do? You failed. You failed. You, yeah. You don't die. You don't roll the white die. I don't know why. You'd... That's just the beginning. Uh, you failed though. Um, uh, you you kind of missed the you, you missed the um, uh, the building. You also missed the droid. You also missed the dude. Um, Krusk, you are running into that uh, that other building, and uh, as you open it up, this is you know a pretty decent size uh, space. But there is a giant box in the middle of the floor. Uh, probably too big to carry by yourself. 
Um, but uh, but you are relatively certain that this is what you're looking for. It's it's a it's a metal. Like, could it be lifted with a grav lift or you know? Uh, yeah, the, the two of y'all could handle it. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to let Snatch know immediately. The moment I lay eyes on, I'm going to say, "Hey, I found it. It's in the other building." I'm going to be like, "Good, I didn't didn't make it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it anyway." I I heard the crash. I heard the crashing sound. All right, our our friend, the last remaining human, decides this is way too much for him. Um, he go he goes running off to the north here. I'm going to. Roll. And he makes it fine. <laughs> if he if he if he failed the roll, then like the uh the the little speeder laser was gonna take his head off. But he did not fail the roll. The IG unit though, with the never say die, um, spirit <laughs> points his gun straight up into the sky, where <laughs> where there's a giant ship above him. It starts blasting. Uh, and he doesn't do a ton of damage. So um, you, you actually only take a, a one a one hit off of you at that point. And um, so it is back to y'all's turn. Um, Snatch, are you, have you jumped out? Um, well, I didn't. That's well, presumably question. you were executing that same action. We yeah, were trying to get out of the ship. Well, I was trying I, to mess up the integrity of the building so that yeah. I could breach it and get into it. But I, I guess if I failed that, then yeah, I would not that. have. I would not have gotten out of the driver's seat. So um, I instead just kind of lift off, you know, just steer it over, keeping it real low, low to the ground. I just come over to where uh, you are and I jump out. I open up that the, the cargo door. And I jump out, and I bring right. the uh, I bring the um, you you told me that it was you found it, so I bring the uh, little mag lift out, you know, like the portable mag lift, um, to, so we can put it on there. All right. So we're loading that onto the ship, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can we load it on in a turn? I mean, we, can we get over there and load it on in, the, in one turn? Hmm. With a light side, yeah. Okay. I feel like we're gonna need a light side to rescue Pete. I think we, I think we can come back for Pete. I think there's so much chaos here. Hmm. Oh, but see, but we might not. We might have to get out of the system right away. No, we gotta get him. Yeah, you're right. We do need to save that for that. So I was, I While was we're loading up. this, is is loading it in action? Yeah, it would be. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, let's. let's I mean, uh, as as you're walking it, if you want to take out a pistol and shoot. Uh, yeah, shoot I was gonna IV. maybe fire a blast, fire a blaster off at the. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I'll I'll let you do that as you're loading it. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, but give me give me a shot with with one purple since he's not moving. And I'll be going with my uh my rifle or my pistol. I guess my rifle. And you said one purple? Yeah. Because he, he's just sitting there. All right. It's a success and three advantage. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. He, he, he dies. Uh, what do you want your advantage to be? I want the advantage to be that his, like, it the blast kind of blows him apart and his head, head rolls down towards me. And I can, like, I pick it up. I grab his head. Okay. You have his head. Yep. That's what I wanted. I need a trophy, man. How, how are you going to please the scorekeeper if you don't have a trophy? <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> Finn Fear, have you met our friend Lam Adalan? Have you even heard of him? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but if you had heard of him... Do you know who he might have frozen in carbonite? Uh, that's my turn. All right. So through all of the smoke and the haze, 
comes a big giant ship. Yeah, it's scary. He comes in blasting. Really? Right. The indentured servant seventeen. Yep. Uh, and actually, that that's just complete wash. So he doesn't hit anything. Um, that means he failed. Good. <laughs> All right. So he uh, he's kind of coming over, making a pass, and uh, shoots uh, just a little bit beyond y'all's ship. And so y'all are getting aboard. Um, what do y'all want to do next? Um, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna yell at yell. We gotta grab Pete. But I don't, you know, I'm not useful in that regard. <laughs> um, no, no, hang out the, um, hang out the bay door, like, cause. All right, yeah, I'll grab my blaster and. Well, I guess we, um, I still have my mag, my, my grabber thing, right? It just, he, we just got hit last time. Right. So it still worked. Okay, so it's not, so I can still use it. So I'm like, get to the gunning. Um, do we have an advantage if he's in the gunner spot versus it being automated or whatever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I'm like get to the guns and like I'll I'll drive over and pick them up and then just get to the guns. So I'll go I'll go to the nearest manned gun and and start blasting at the ship. And I'm gonna drive over and throw down the mag again. All right. Um. So um, Krusk, if you can give me a um, a uh, gunnery roll. Sure. This is going to be um, against two purple. You said uh, an advantage because it's manned. No, no, I'm sorry. The the advantage is you get to use the turret. Sure. Okay. There there, there is right. no automated thing on it. Um, That's fair. All right. I roll one advantage. Okay. Uh, all right. So shot goes wide, as it's as it's kind of you know turning around. The shot you know goes to where it, it was, but it was it's it's in its turn. To head back around, uh, what is your advantage going to be? Maybe that they have to redirect their ship again in anticipation of like they're they're taking evasive maneuvers, which is making them like they're not able to angle around on us again. Like for another, like they're having to, you know what I mean? Right, like they're right. evading, they're evading rather than attacking. Okay. Yeah, put them off. I put them off for a couple of seconds. Okay. All right. Um, uh, snatch. Yeah. As you're pulling Pete up, um, <laughs> I got the CPU for him. If uh, you know, there's 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 a couple of things that y'all can do uh, at this point. If you want to check all the systems, give me a computer check. If you want to try to, you know, steer. Uh, away and and do whatever kind of maneuvers you want to do, um, then that would be piloting planetary. Um, or if you want to take the round to uh, reset Pete, see if you can get him up and running again, then you can do that as well. Um, I want to. I kind of want to jump to. Uh... To hyperspace is his astrogate. Do I need astrogation for that? Do I need Pete to you, go into hyperspace? I mean, you, you couldn't do it from the surface. You'd, you'd have to get out up into up above the atmosphere. Um, do we have Pete in the ship? We got him right. Yeah. So our ship is so. I am going to. Do we have any kind of. Do I have any kind of knowledge on like. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're damaged already. It's this, this indentured servant 17. Do I have like kind of, I mean, based off of what I'm saying, I mean, do we stand a chance in head-to-head -head combat? Or yours, I mean, yours is a better ship than theirs is. Um, um, y'all are, they are faster, but yours is better armed and better armored. All right. Well, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn around and um... collision course. Yeah, I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. Let's let's do this. Let's let's fight. Okay. So, um, what what are you doing? Head straight at him and and firing all the yeah. way. Um, 
I'm going to use um, attack pattern delta. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Mark has soils into attack position. That's from Galaxy Quest. <laughs> attack pattern delta is a. Uh, did did or uh. Didn't Picard always? They have like some like attack patterns. Yeah. Picard Lamba or whatever. Probably. Okay, um, I'm going to. Uh, Pretty sure attack pattern Delta was actually a quote from. From what? Didn't they like go into attack pattern Delta in Star Wars? Probably. Um, Can I ask the captain a question? We'll as the, uh, okay, I'm, I'm three just... rogue doctrine attack formation is developed by Commander Luke Skywalker. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you probably don't know Attack Pattern Delta. It's also an Attack Pattern from Star Trek. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, ask Snatch, I'm going to say, hey, do you want me on the gun or do you want me to be fixing Pete? I'll have the, uh, I do have a mechanic, a decent mechanics check. Um, Because I'm the one who put them together in the first place. So what is your gunner? What is your gunnery? I mean, like, it's two green. My gunner is two green, and I have uh, my mechanics is one yellow, one green. I, w I guess I would say, because my gunnery is, um, my gunnery is it's a question three, of three green, of sticking the fight out or or trying to fix Pete so we can get out, get out of here. Yeah, fix Pete, I guess. Um, I'll, and I'll, I'll fight. All right. Until you fix him, because sure. we need him. We need him for. We do. Yeah. Astrogation. Well, oh, for all manner of stuff. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, my astrogation is three green with a. What's your astrogation, Pete? <laughs> he responds. Well, that's kind of... <laughs> I look at his character sheet real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know from experience that he is a better astrogator than you are. Right, right. right. So I was thinking, okay, so I'm gonna just go into guns on this one. So I'm gonna switch over from. Uh, I'm just switching to guns as we go head to head. I turn the ship and I switch to guns manual for my like these extra little joysticks pop out from beneath the uh, console. It's like wobbly, like duct tape thing, and it's got this little Hawaiian dancer. That hangs off of it, and uh, nice. I'm going to. This gonna the camera's gonna zoom in on my finger, my like fleshy, like weird toenail looking I think finger. You should get an advantage for the hula dancer. <laughs> that help you aim? <laughs> I, I look at her. And I'm like, I, 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 I thwap her because she's got the little spring on her bottom, on, on her on her feet. I thwap her. She's like blah, 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 like doorstop, and uh, I pull the trigger. All right, Michael all right. So, um, gunnery, uh, gunnery roll against three purple. Okay. Um, so, let me do this right this time. <laughs> three green against three purple. Hey, do we still have a light side die? One advantage. Yeah, we do. All right. Uh, so, you miss again. Um, but the same thing happens maybe where they, they like, i shot right at them and they have to peel off. Okay. All right. So they're it's turning, like, oh, uh, they're turning into, into a, def a defensive position and, um, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to circle back around. Uh, give me a, give me a perception roll. Uh, uh, uh I'm sorry. Uh, snatch, uh, against three purple. Right, two green and one yellow. Mm -hmm. All right. It gets three purple. Right. Or two purple. Three. Two fails and three and two advantage. Okay, so. When the alarm goes off, you realize that you didn't notice until it was too late. Uh, 
you feel you feel the pelting of of um, uh, laser fire on the top side of the ship, which takes. What is your soap? Oh, oh. Five. Empire oh it two. only takes one. So you're down to oh. 13. But two, fi two TIE fighters have come in from above and has ju have just fired and are zooming past you. They're firing at me? Mm-hmm. Okay. What, um, uh, you have some advantages. What would you like for them? Um... Uh, I'm, I'm going to say another sandstorm or something is coming. <laughs> something, something is happening to the atmosphere. Like there's like maybe some kind of like electromagnetic storm that's brewing. That's going to disrupt <laughs> all kind of visual and communication things <laughs> where we can sneakily sneak away from this. Uh, yeah, I'm not prepared that's to do that for advantage. an advantage. Yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> I would give us an advantage. Yeah, that may be more of a triumph. Um, I'm going to say that maybe the advantage is um, we were able to, I like, I randomly reached over and calculated a hyperspace jump as soon as that could happen as soon as I broke the atmosphere. Like I, and so I can, I've got a clear line of sight to where that, I can mm, get to. Yeah, in no, the I mean that that so is like, a, that is an actual action, so. I mean, astrogation is an action that you'd have to take. Uh, the advantage is that uh, C3, uh, that Pete's all of a sudden, like, system just <laughs> under the gentle touch of uh, oh. Rusk was, like, totally automated, like, activated. He's ready to go. We can plug him in, like, you're, you're plug not, him into the computer. You're not good at and advantages. <laughs> I'm trying to turn an advantage to something that's going to save our lives. You're, you're trying we're about to, to die. <laughs> you're trying to turn an advantage into a, into an extra action. I mean, we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> we, we found an Ewok. <laughs> All right, you have an you All have right. an Ewok. No, no, I don't want an Ewok. I'm going <laughs> to eat it probably. <laughs> you have one of those irritating birds from the Last Jedi. I'll probably eat that too. I don't want one. A Minoc? <laughs> oh wait. That's... Wait, what do you know the names of the bird? What were those things was... called? The Minox. Lunch. Oh no. no, no. He said the last Jedi. Oh, that is the last Jedi. Like, they're called Apocryphal yeah, yeah. or Apocryphas or <laughs> They're called or They're called Wookiee Lunch. Oh yeah. And they were uh, can you, can you, can you save Pork. Can you Pork. Oh yeah, those those things. Can you save the advantage for your next action? Sure. Mhm. Mm All right. Yeah, you, you, might that, want to, you might want to do that. All right, yeah, because I'm <laughs> drawing a complete failure blank. Um, which, uh, which actually it is, uh, it is your turn, because uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, <clears throat> sorry, the fire spray is turning around. The tie fighters have just gone past, and so it is your turn. Um, and I, when I say your turn, I mean y'all's turn. Is there any kind of canyons or something that we can fly through <laughs> and put our piloting to work against theirs? Instead uh, of having... I would I would do that for a light side. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. Um We're flying. We're flying, yeah. Um uh, can um I guess I, I guess I wanna I, I wanna get out of here. I guess so let's do that. Let's try that. Okay. So we'll spin that white side that light side the white side. Um, <laughs> and uh I see a canyon outcropping and I gun it. Alright. Just like full throttle and Head towards that. Okay. Let's give uh, piloting against two purple. All right. And that's since you flipped the whites, the light side, you uh, 
upgrade. Well, and the, the light side was for the canyon. Oh, gotcha. 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 Mm -hmm. But I get an advantage on this, whatever I roll. Right. Why? No, you don't. No. So we carried it over. To what are you saying is, is the... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you do have an advantage. So I couldn't well, figure out my well, advantage. The advantage from last time. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've so, already forgotten. That's awesome. I know. I did too. Three uh, versus two, right? Three purple versus two. Let me check, let me double check my um, piloting. I thought it was. Is it three? I think it's better than three. No, That's your planetary. piloting planetary is uh, two uh, two yellows and a, a green. Yeah. All right. And then what? you get a blue, or yeah, you get a blue. I get a blue. Well, I already rolled a failure. All right. <laughs> Roll a blue. Roll a blue. Although it's only going to give you one more advantage. Oh, dang. So, three advantage. Okay, so, um, you're not, uh, you're diving into it, but you're not getting a lot of, uh, of, of, of vertical movement quite yet. And so, um, you're still a little bit exposed, but, um, what do you want your advantages to be? Um, the sun's going down. Uh, no, that's stupid. I'm just trying to think of a. Uh, I um. Oh, it's a migratory season for these weird uh, insect-like creatures that come out of the rocks, and so as the reverberations from my engine as I'm passing through these, all these little creatures start coming out and create kind of like this dusty cloud of organic matter that can obscure the visual <laughs> points of anybody that yeah. follows me. Like on Geonosis, the stupid bug creatures. Oh, yeah. yes. Or like the 2020 Cicada 17 year uprising. There you go. Th this is actually pitch black and giant demon pterodactyls start coming out and attacking our enemies. Wait, I'm cool with the bugs though. That's actually kind of cool. That's sure. like the, that the engines would be knocking stuff loose. Yeah. Sure. Good yeah. Night. <laughs> <laughs> just desperately want your sandstorm. Fine, you got one. Um, <laughs> it's an organic sandstorm. Yeah, it make, the ion drive makes sense before, before, but it makes sense now. Okay. All right, so the fire spray's next. It, it, it has turned around. It is seeing the TIE fighters. The TIE fighters are turning toward it, but it's still heading, uh, it's still heading toward you. Uh, but it is going to shoot, actually, at one of these TIEs. I get a, a roll or a. Oh a, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you want to fire anything? Thank you for reminding. Yeah, me. was I aware? No, uh, was I aware of the fact that there are Tie Fighters uh, engaging us? Yeah. Okay. Pete, I thought. Did you fix? Yeah. Them? Well, no. I, I was jumping out of the last my last turn. I was jumping out of my turret to uh, to go fix Pete, but then we got engaged by the Tie Fighters, and I wasn't sure if I should send out a signal to the Tie Fighters to try to tell them that. You know they're shooting the wrong person, or if I should fix Pete. I think I'm just gonna try to fix Pete. So, okay. um, yeah. Uh, be mechanics against two. Purple. Okay. <clears throat> and that's two success and a threat. Nice. Okay. So, um. So presumably I get the uh, <laughs> yeah. get him to stop spazzing out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the threat is that he's going to be down completely this round, um, to reboot. Sure. All right. So, uh, so <laughs> hang him up to the cockpit. Then. While he's working on me before that threat starts, I'm going to be like, hap, hap, you, you tried, tried, turning, turning it, it back, back on, on again, again. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm going to start carrying him up to the cockpit. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, so um, I, I went ahead and did, did some of the rolls. The fire spray is coming, is uh, careening around. Um, they're, uh, they're trying to cut underneath those t coming TIE fighters. They fire, uh, fire off at them, uh, completely missing. The TIEs... Uh, uh, do return fire as they uh, they actually separate, then s circle around and come back together uh, <laughs> into one giant chase, and some of their uh, shots land on that fire spray and cut into it pretty nicely. 
<clears throat> is and this so... that sound effect you were preparing before stream? Uh, it yeah. No. I mean, this is this is uh, Sirenscape. Nah, never mind. <sighs> so, um, what's next for y'all? Well, my turn again. I mean, as the pilot, we're starting back with me. Oh, nice. Oh, explosions. Yeah. You can go where I can go. I'm probably going to... My next thing is probably going to be to jump on the comms. Okay. And try to throw the TIE Fighters off. All right. Do it. Okay. Well, then, uh, yeah, I'd like to jump on the... Uh, like a ship to ship communication system and try to fool the TIE fighters by delivering some old codes that I knew from when I was uh, working on uh, Kashyyyk. And I'll just throw some codes and I'll, I want to say, hey, you know, you're firing on the wrong ship. It's going to be the, uh, you know, the, the target is the fire, whatever it's called, uh, <laughs> Firefly. Firefly. Hey, he Firefly says that the, thing, the, the fire, whatever it's called. <laughs> fire, yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine here. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to redirect them verbally to the. Yeah, exactly. How are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to try to verbally redirect them. Just throw them off. All right. Know, so. Throw some old codes out, you know. Uh, with the codes, let's do computer. Okay. Uh. uh what what did what you want me to do? I wanted him to have to do it like a charm or a deception. Okay. Like or, yeah. Like the 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 codes well, could help his deception. Let's do deception. Um. All right. The codes will give you a blue, but um, it is gonna be four purple. All right. That's uh, one threat. I'm star destroyer. So Dang. the threat comes from the, the return call from the stormtrooper who threatens you. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So what is uh, it saying, I threaten you. Uh, Pete, you are back up and running and snatch. You have some piloting to do. I, I would uh, probably advise uh, piloting. Um, as we're getting into into space battle, we haven't actually done one of these before, um, and so there's uh, there's a lot of stuff that the crew can do. You do have actually two turrets uh, on the ship itself. Um, you can work uh, as a co-pilot, which would you know basically let you. You know, grant advantages to maneuvers. It could also, uh, you know, uh, you could you could work on some repairs. You can, um, you know, work on uh, on your shields on on uh, like in a case like this where everybody's behind you, you know, to uh, divert power to to the rear shields. And so there's a number of things you can do aboard a ship in the middle of a fight. And so if it's something that you would like to do, you can. Probably. Well, well. so we didn't really discuss the uh, local uh, insect or biomass swarm that was budding forth from the cliff faces as we're in this canyon. And also, presumably, like, I want to stay in this canyon as long as I'm... I want to shake them. Like, if they're, fo are they following after me? I mean, they're attacking each other, kind of. Yeah. Are they coming they, they into haven't, the canyon? They haven't gotten to the bugs yet. But so they're not even coming into the canyon yet. No, they haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so I, but I'm in the canyon, and this is my second turn in the canyon. So do they even see yeah. me still? Because as soon as I'm out of the way, like I want to pull behind a wall and do the so, old, the so, old, yeah. like. Uh, Millennium Falcon on the back of the Star Destroyer trick, you know, where you like sh stick onto the side of it and shut everything off. Okay. So at the end of last round, you were cutting down, but you failed the piloting check, so you didn't quite, you didn't, you didn't quite, you know, get underneath the the crest. And so okay. uh, the bugs are coming up. They're, you know, they're they're seeing seeing the tail end of you entering the canyon now. 
And okay. so, um, so now I'm in the canyon. So I want to just go is I'm going to pilot through this and make it very difficult for them to follow. So I want to go at a good clip, you know, but I'm okay. not a three purple clip, but like maybe like a two purple clip. <laughs> two, two purple clip <laughs> is pretty darn slow. Okay. They, wanna... they will probably going be going at least at a three purple clip. Okay. Okay. And remember All the right. tie the tie fighters. Uh, 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 I think actually everyone is faster than you. Well, that's why I'm trying to out. Yeah, the, the ties it's, are the ties okay. are really fast. Um, All right. And, They're also uh, fighting each other, so that's gotta take their speed down somewhat. Yeah, it kind of depends on do the ties want to stay behind that fire spray and take him out, or are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or did they take you know not too kindly about that phone call that they just got and decide to come ahead and get you? Well, I regardless. I mean, I guess like, like that's up to you, what they you know what you decide for them. But uh, regardless, I'm committing to this canyon. Right. <clears throat> so two green and or two yellow and one green versus what two purple three purple. How fast do you want to go? I want to go three purple. I guess I want to be able to get. I want to get an advantage out of this. If we can make it work, you, you tell me what I'm up against. I didn't mean to put that in your mouth, but to no, 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 no. It's like it—it it really is. How fast do you want to go? You can go super slow and reduce the difficulty. You can go super fast and increase the difficulty. The speed you want to go is go how three. difficult it is. Let's go okay? three. All right. Five. Two success, wow, one this. threat. All right. Okay, so uh, all of our all of our ships have been a little delayed getting into the canyon, uh, but the threat that uh, that I think I'm going to use is that as uh, you know as as you're kind of weaving you know into this canyon, uh, there's just this moment in time, and it's going to be a difficult shot, but there's this moment in time that that fire spray has a beat on you. And so they are going to try uh, to take advantage of that. That's gonna be it's it's gonna be pur four purple for them. And they do miss, and the advantages come out as a wash. And so they're gonna be doing their piloting. Uh, Pete, what do you want to be doing it while they're doing that? Uh. First, I want to say when that stormtrooper called back and threatened us, uh, I think what he said was, it's an older code, but it doesn't check out. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and then what do I want to be doing? So they they don't seem to be immediately like prioritizing us, number one, and chasing. They're heading in that direction, but they, they, they did get a slower start uh, through the bugs. And... Um... The but bugs yeah. are hitting their windscreens. Right, yeah. They, they got, you know, they're, they, they they turned on the windshield wipers. They're just, just smearing them. So they're, now now they're realizing that they that they didn't change out the windshield fluid. And it's like, oh, crap. And, uh, and they bought the cheap blades at uh, AutoZone. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we're going to have to cut that out. Otherwise, AutoZone is going to be pissed at us. So we, we love you, AutoZone. <laughs> Please sponsor yeah. us. <laughs> O'Reilly's not better than you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> O'Reilly. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Providing the best wipers for YT freighters across the galaxy. <laughs> so I want to go. Well, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, since, you know, I just woke up, right? I was out of it. Uh, and I see, like, we're in a canyon full of bugs, right? <laughs> So I'm just going to be looking around. And, uh, what year is it? And where have all the suns gone? <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining like three, uh, like C-3PO uh, being turned back on by Chewie and just mm -hmm. reliving those last few seconds. And Stormtroopers, <laughs> here? Oh, no! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm definitely like disoriented. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? What year is it? And where have all the suns gone? And uh, trying to figure out what's going on. Nice. 
So I think it's fair that I would use it around being like, well, what happened? First I was dead, and, and now I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a robot, so I wasn't actually dead, but now I'm not dead. And I want to shake him and sort of like try to explain to him what's going on as quickly as possible. <laughs> and now I'm being shaken by, I, I don't know which voice We're being is. chased! Is this the hairless need you, I need you to, lizard? I need you to plug into the main computer, we're in trouble. What, 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 what will the computer do for you? Just plug into it! <laughs> Shut up, uh, all the garbage disposals on the... <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, okay. Alright, I'll plug into it, and I know my next move, because they seem pretty distressed. So I okay. know my next move. You're gonna sing to us. Right, gonna <laughs> access all the toilet paper reserves on the ship. <laughs> so you know, the stress, yeah. Oh, point, man. Point, point. All right, so that fire spray uh, rolled very poorly on uh, his piloting, and so he's actually like, as he's coming through the bugs, he's trying to dive and clips the side of that uh, of that cliff. He kind of bounces off, ricochets a little bit. One of the Tie Fighters is going to take the opportunity to really zoom forward. Um, they're faster than you, anyways, by a lot, but this one is going at four purple. And he crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I, there, there are four disadvantages on this roll, and so I think with that many, um, yeah, they he, he could pop a wing into the side of the of the cliffside if uh, if y'all want to use it for that. And uh, yeah, if you're rolling disadvantages while like navigating a canyon, like run. that's a lot of bugs. Yeah. All right, so he goes spinning off, and, and there's there's an explosion. The other one comes through the explosion, uh, going a little, going a wee bit slower, and does succeed in that. And so he is hot on your tail. The uh, the fire spray is actually uh, is now behind the tie, um, but the but the tie has not gotten uh, is gaining on you, but has not gotten a clear shot. So he's not going to try to take one. It is y'all's turn again. So they're behind us, right? Yeah, both both now both ships are behind you. And um, the the cargo bay has an airlock from the rest of the ship, right? Or no? Yes. Okay. I and don't know that it's on the back side. Is it on the bottom? Where is it? Well, let's pull up our ship. Yeah, um... Oh, boy. I think the ramp opens in the front. Oh. Uh, like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Uh, well, then, I no longer know what I was going to do. Oh, yeah, I see here a picture. Cargo goes in the front. Yikes. <laughs> Were you about to fill the canyon with toilet paper? Because it would have been epic. Yes, and I was even going to sing over the speakers. Well, you know... The now bugs are hit. The, the bugs are hitting the windshields of everybody, and so the toilet paper might, might actually like the juice might act as, as an adhesive yeah. for the toilet paper. Yeah, but the toilet paper is not going to be sucked out the front of the ship. Yeah, We're not in a vacuum. Yeah, definitely would in space, but not in the atmosphere. Wait. All right, then someone else should take their turn while I... Well, I'll Because I'm just going to jump back in the gunnery turret, and uh, okay. I want to kind of, like, fire at the cliffs. Just just hose. Yeah, good idea. Um, and just nice, kind of cause whatever kind of distress behind me as I can. All right. All right, so, yeah. Um, let's do gunnery. Okay. Let's do a difficult roll, and that way, if, if it's a successful, then you'll take out the TIE Fighter with it. Uh, but let's do four purple. 
Oh man, that's not gonna. I don't think there's any statistical way. Yeah, three threats. Okay. All right. So you you pick you you uh, uh you know you 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 pick up some dirt and stuff, but it, it's not effect with with um with those dis uh, uh with those threats, then it, it's not gonna affect them. Yeah. All right. Snatch, how fast you want to go? Um, I think I want to go, and ultimately I want to lose them, but I feel like we're at the advantage as long as we can keep them behind us. So I'll just keep it at three purple for now. All right, let's do it. Two yellow, one green, and three purple, right? Mm -hmm. Is that mine? Is that my planetary? I know, I, mean, I know I've been rolling for it, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, your planetary, what was it? Uh, it's yeah, it's two yellows, yellows and a green. One, it, it, I can I negate a right. despair or whatever. Wait, what is that black thing again? Negate a black. <laughs> it's a, uh, what do they actually call it? Um, I think it's just, I think it's a setback die. Well, there's no setback on this one, so just. So I got two failures, three advantage. Ooh, okay. So your advantage, uh, your your failures is that you're you're cutting things a little close, uh, you know, brushing the the ship up against the side of things. Um, with that many advantages, you're not losing any uh, any any hits on your ship or anything like that. But um, what what advantage would you like with that? Um, that when I brush up against or get really close to the sides, it's creating more rock fall. So like I'm slowing down so they can maybe possibly gain on me since I failed in my speed. Since I guess this was like, how fast am I going through the right, yeah. uh, thing? So like I slowed down because we came across like maybe like a hairpin t style turn. But the advantage was that I clipped the side of, you know, the ship without doing doing minor damage you're very insignificant damage okay. i clipped uh, a rock formation that caused a small uh you know crumbling effect that created debris that they'll have to th that they'll have a disadvantage with as they follow me sure i can put uh, i'll put a setback die on them oh, for that that's good um pete you said what you're doing yeah uh, how big is this canyon? It's like Beggar's like, Canyon back home. Like, are we talking... <laughs> is this like bullseye? It's, it's an RG-16. Like is it like a football field wide, or is it like... Two meters wide. Uh, like, uh... I'm yeah, thinking yeah. it's pretty much like some of the action sequences, and... Was it... So, what, was it we're was bumping it? up against the wall, though, right? Well, on that, that turn, yeah, you turn. did. Okay, so I have... I'm, I'm hooked up to the ship, right? Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you had that little connector thing put in, did I don't, you? I don't think I did either. No. But I can speak to the ship, right? Sure. Uh, and I can, like, type commands to the ship, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to type commands to the ship, and... Uh, but while I'm working, I'm going to sing a sweet tune to my uh, uh, my companions <clears throat> this is going to be amazing Tatooine navigation is easy bug wings are thumping our enemies will die so that's my song nice and uh, I'm going to turn on you know I looked up our ship I'm assuming I know our ship pretty well. So we have a tractor beam emitter capable of lifting 900 kilograms mm -hmm. with a range of 30 meters. So I'll just, <clears throat> without warning the captain that we're suddenly going to have a 900 kilogram force pulling us towards the wall, I'm going to like try to target rocks as we fly by and shake them loose. What could possibly go wrong? Um, nice. So, 
I don't even know what role that would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's just do computer I'm, then. I'm just gonna like attract a whole bunch of bugs to the ship, and they're all gonna squish. <laughs> 900 kilograms of bug guts. Right. Oh, uh, let's do let's do a computer roll because you're pretty good at that, and uh, I want to see okay. how this works. And so, um, okay. let's do that with uh, uh So, with so what you're purple. saying is you want this to work? <laughs> I, I want it to be interesting, and it and it will be interesting. Well, so does my character. That's what he wants in life. Uh, so just computer against four purple, and that's it, straight up. That's straight up. Yeah. To advantage. All right. So, what, uh, what would you like the advantage to be? Uh, it, it does attract a whole bunch of bug squishies and uh, clears our path so that the navigation, you know, the bugs aren't blocking his line of sight. Okay. So maybe that, that would give him an advantage on his next uh, piloting since he can see better. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so that tie so is next. So we got a whole bunch of bug goop. We might be able to sell this later as like animal fodder. Amazing. <laughs> oh goodness. So, um, uh, that tie, uh, that tie fighter. It, Coming across that that uh, that corner, with the rock falling down, tries to tries to go underneath it and fails, and actually rolled significant uh, disadvantages on that. Uh, there several threats, and so uh, gets uh, gets his wing hit, spins out of control into the side of of the the canyon. The fire spray actually makes it quite nicely, though. And uh, that uh, has an advantage. So I think on the advantage on that, that's going to put uh, give them an opportunity to fire. Oh, that does miss um, with this uh, with this advantage. So that shot goes wide. Anything y'all want to do with that disadvantage? What, what happened? Uh, the fire spray uh, made the corner quite nicely and, in fact, gained some uh, gained some ground on you and was able to fire, but missed, and so uh, and got a disadvantage on the on the on the firing. He um, he missed behind us and he hit a particularly large organic cluster like nesting cluster that hadn't fully opened up after we passed by and so now he's going to be hit with double the little creatures that are bursting double bugs the wall. Devil okay. bugs. Double so we'll can just convert his disadvantage to um, more bugs to bigger more stance storm all right i like how we're just stuck on this one thing Bugs. More bugs. Yeah. Every every what advantage is bugs. What about rocks? Yes, rocks, rocks no, and bugs. No, we've come to a new species of bugs now. And now these bugs have an acidic quality in their abdomens. Which um now as we pass by them, the disadvantage is, is as the bugs break upon the hull of their ship, they're like kinda like from the movie Aliens. So now like an like, average weight of like 200 kilograms, you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're just gonna like go with bulbs. normal bugs. <laughs> All, right. All right. So it is. It is y'all's go. So what would you like to do at this point? Um, I'm gonna shoot at the ship. I'm gonna shoot at it. The wow. tie fighters right. are both gone. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, do we think shooting that at it is going to be. You don't know. We don't know, but uh, pro well, yeah. I mean, yeah. You think they they had picked him up, um, and so, so if we, get we don't know if he's ship, flying or we not. We actually might get rid of Murtex. Yeah, that's a good chance of that. Actually, can we open a line of communication while we're doing everything and be like, just kind of say something offhandedly, just to uh, goad him into revealing that he's on the I ship mean, or not? You that can might... 
You can open a line, they have to answer the call. I know, I know, but I mean, can we goad them into saying, revealing that Murtax is on the ship? Because that might, the, our desire to kill Murtax might lend us to take more risks. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if Murtax isn't on this, we could just beat these, you know, we could just do whatever we can to get out of here. But if Murtax is on it, then we might actually want to play a little riskier and, like, try to make sure they're dead. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Crest, did you want to fire first, or do you want to talk first? Well, while that's happening, it's probably happening simultaneously. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So, go ahead and do your firing, oh, okay. um, which would right. be, uh, 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 at this distance, it would be uh, two purple. Yeah, three success, two threat. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. You hit it pretty good. Um, all right, you're opening a channel. What are you? What are you gonna say? Um, I'm going to patch it through to, uh, but who has the best persuasion that doesn't, uh, you wanted to talk to him. <laughs> I did want to talk to him. It's going to be you, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, um, Murtax. Like if you break off now, you know, maybe we might give you a cut. Vertex responds. You can't have the box, but I can give you a cut. <laughs> oh, the plot thickens. I'm like, crap. Do we have the box? Yeah. Yes. Oh. We got that bad boy, bro. Pete, we got. We got. Pete this. does not know that. <laughs> I, I literally just learned that when Murtex said it. <laughs> Oh, we have the box. So, so wait, hold on. Let me get this right. When that you were actually, actually, I might think that he has it and he's chasing us anyway. When you were disabled in the sand yeah. in the game, you were actually disabled in real life too. Like you were like on the floor, like, <laughs> spazzing out, like, not, like just saying the words out loud. Like you missed the fact that we actually got the box. You think this is role play? <laughs> I don't know. It's so meta right now. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really here, here, here. This is This is my response to you. <laughs> I'm like, I, wiggly, wiggly, I thought wiggly, I'd fix wiggly, that. Wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> I, th I thought I'd fix that. Like a sock in it. I'm going to say, well, next time you have to do a better job. <laughs> we can't fight. Everybody hey, I don't have I don't have thumbs. I, <laughs> I did the best I could. Cross, so, get the um, device. So I want, for my turn, um... For, you know, I'm going to say to Murtax, Hey, I think you left something behind last time. And then turn off the communication. And, oh. Oh, well, I already said it. And then I'm going to remember that I can't just dump the toilet paper. <laughs> and open to the front. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Can we make up, like, a makeshift, like, decoy of this? And yeah, say, like, that was you did. And I'm going to tell the captain, I was like, now I'm going to dump the toilet pit. Oh, pull up. I'm going to astrogate us out of here. Just, just fly. Fly like you fly. Like a bug. I'm going to hit the throttle and I'm going to like jet us up. And I'm going to open the bay door and drop some shit out and be like, there you go, Murtax. It's it goes all out here. the front, man. It goes out the front. It goes out the front. Why does it go out the front? None of, of y'all are paying attention to this game. <laughs> we already discussed this. <laughs> we can't dump the stuff because it opens in the front. Oh, that's right. It does open in the front. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like the All third right. time tonight. All right. Sorry. Disregard. I, for I forgot mm. which way our hatch opens. I, I like how it's just like, Martex, you forgot something. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like over there scratching his head. Like, huh? What? Um, so, you know, I say that. The captain's going to do what the captain's going to do, but I'm telling him I'm ready to astrogate us. If he can get to far enough 
from the planet that I can find us a path somewhere else. Um, yeah, but, the, I, but I, I won't want to go straight to somewhere that's predictable. But I think we can. We. Uh... I feel like we can kill him in this canyon. So I feel like we're almost at an advantage. Um, because we're ahead of him and we can keep making the canyon smaller as we, as he's behind us, we can shoot at the outcroppings or shoot at him. I mean, you do what you want. I'm not in charge. But it, this can't last forever. All right. I'm going to, um, we don't have the speed though to get to base the astrogate you do what you want i already said my line i'm not gonna argue with you you're gonna be like we don't have that speed and i'm just gonna be like um all right i'm going to do a i'm gonna go up and i'm gonna come back and face right at him and i'm gonna try to pass him while i'm shooting at him or i'm while while crust shoots at him and see if we can get some kind of it because he's been pretty much sticking on our tail this whole time so i'm going to do this maneuver where i pull up turn around pass him while shooting uh well i guess cross can use his turn to shoot if he wants to do that or he could shoot the outcrop whatever we want to do but like i'm going to do some crazy maneuver where i come back at him that's what i'm trying to do okay. well cross has already shot and hit him i just fired yeah oh you just fired I did and hit him pretty good you're, okay. Like seriously, not paying attention to the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep. Then I'm gonna just. Get, I'm just gonna keep flying down. I'm gonna keep flying in this tunnel. How fast? I'm gonna go up to four purple. All right. I, I, I. Four purple. You know what? I'm dark siding it. Upgrade one of those purples to a red. We did. <laughs> do we have any light sides? Oh, you already rolled. No, no, we don't. We do now. Yeah, we do now. All right. With those, with those threat. All right. So you failed, and with uh, with a couple of threats, y'all are taking damage. Not only did you slow down, but you're taking damage from this one. Um. You, you tried to get underneath uh, like a, like an overhang and uh, it just scraped the top and um, uh, really just banged it really hard. They're going to come up behind you. They passed their flight. And so they're getting really close as they lay down fire. All right, what is Shell's armor? Okay, that uh, those shots uh, smack against your armor. Um, pretty good it uh it does uh the armor does absorb most of the damage but you, you know think the wiring is starting to spark a little bit it's 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 not looking great um but they did have one disadvantage on that bugs are we doing more bugs oh, like I'm oh. a bad decision maker Rock bugs, or you can use it for an. You, you can use it for um, uh, a boost die on your next roll. Yeah, I want that. Because I have something amazing in mind. By amazing, I mean yet another one of my stupid ideas that can never work. Anybody who's watching, I do apologize. We we did have a, a a little bit of a lag there, so uh, that should be fixed though. Oh, did my voice go robot? No, no, it was on my end. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> at 11 o'clock, my, uh, my uh, uh, backup uh, goes on and it hogs all the bandwidth. Then I keep forgetting to pause it um, on, <laughs> on night. So. Well, I, I can go ahead and, and fire again while you guys think. Well, I, I already know what I want to do for my turn. Okay. So we have this 900 kilogram blob of bug blob squished up against our tractor beam <laughs> that's going to be a ton of fun to clean uh, so I am going to release it because you said their ship is getting pretty close uh -huh. in hopes that this giant bug glob becomes a giant blob of death that hits their ship okay yeah, damage that's 900 kilograms of bugs of dang bugs. All right, so um, <laughs> it will fall apart a little bit in the air, but it is. Yeah. So computers. Uh, four, purple. Oh, okay. <clears throat> boop, boop. Boop, boop. Can I take that blue from the disadvantage that they didn't use, or is I mean, that not what an advantage is? No, I mean you could take a blue uh, as long as there are rails, you know. Yeah. Does it yell at you or something? Do it. Boom. Roll. What does this mean? <laughs> Success to threat. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. So, so their ship just gets absorbed in bugs. And, <laughs> and uh, smushed dead bug. Yeah. Nice. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> And you see their ship just kind of go careening off, uh, uh, off, and uh, in desperation, as they're is they're like is they're like heading to the right, they they suddenly pull up and and out uh, out of the canyon, and uh, and so they're heading in the wrong direction. Um, uh, what do y'all want to do? I'm gonna get us out of here, get us into space, so we can astrogate the heck out of here. All right. Uh, two, two purple will get you there. Okay, never mind. But while we're doing that, can I fire first? Sure. While I still have eyes on. Sure. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send off another volley. Okay. Uh, Three purple two, again. Two, two purple. Okay. Whoa. Uh, T threat. Should we chase them down and kill them? T threat. No, I think we should. I don't think that. I don't know. I think we should run. We're going to have to fight this dude later. He's going to be really mad. I don't know that we're going to be able to kill him right now. We're not in great shape. We're not in great shape, but they got bugs all over them now. Are, are y'all actually talking to each other in game? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to be like, run, run, yeah. old brave Sir Robin. Run. <laughs> run. <laughs> run. 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 Captain Snatch ran away. And I'm gonna start ran saying away, it. away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll yeah. this out of here, dude. What do you say? Gets it too purple? Run, run, <laughs> run, run. Is the droid saying red rum? Because run. I might run. need to fix them again. Run, run. <laughs> like a sunny side up egg yolk. Run. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm getting hungry. All right. Two right. yellow, one purple. I mean, one green against two purple. When Murtex approached in the slave one, snatched turn, then did run. Nice. All right, you have. You're heading straight and, up. Entered servant seventeen. Too many syllables. <laughs> right. <laughs> you are heading into space, and looking back. It does not appear that the fire spray is following you. And so I assume at this point that you are heading out. Yeah. Do y'all gotcha. uh, take a look in the box? Yeah. No. <laughs> we, we talked about this at length. Gonna, if he gets up from the cockpit, I'm going to follow him. Um, cause we haven't astrogated anywhere yet. 
Well, yeah, we need to get Where safe. are you going? We need to get safe. Let's, like, yeah. that's what I do first. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. God. So, hey, just because uh, we're, uh, just to wrap up uh, fairly quickly, this is uh, this is not a hard jump anymore. You're not being chased or anything. So, right. uh, we'll so hand we wave the, the astrogation. Uh, you're heading back. Um, no, we're heading. I don't want to go back to where we came from because I don't want to get trapped. Like, I want to go to, like, a secret place where we can sure. okay. look in the box. And we can say that for later if you want, but, like,. <laughs> I definitely want to like talk about this more before we just hand it over because I feel like we risked our lives and I want to think about it. I kind of want to look. I definitely want to look inside it. In fact, I kind of want to go to a completely different solar system, meet brand new people, and just keep this box, not look in it, and just pretend like it's something super valuable. <laughs> I don't know. That might be crazy. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, the, the box is sealed and, uh, with a little computer hacking, you would be able to, or splicing, you would be able to open it. Um, it would be, it would be a very difficult role to open it in a way that it would not look like you opened it. Difficult. Okay. While we're contemplating, I want to pat. Hey, something happened, and I cannot hear. Oh, uh -oh. I don't know. Can you hear me, Mal? Can you hear me, Mal, too? <laughs> Can you hear me, Mal? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I uh, can you All right. Cool. Nice. I'm just going to pat Pete on the back and say, good to have you back. And then I'm going to hand him the uh, uh, IG head, and I'm going to say, hey, I got a, I got you an upgrade if you want it. I'm just going to give it to him. He can put it on his head. He's going to be a 3PO unit with an IG unit on his head. No, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have two heads. <laughs> there you go. There you go, like Zapot. I'm going to start, like, I'll start yeah. arguing with myself. Yeah. It's all you, buddy. You get a third arm. <laughs> I'm going to put the head in the aquarium where I keep the pet snake. <laughs> nice. So what's it going to be? I don't know. wanted to open it. Uh, if, if, he, if he starts trying to open it, I'm going to like slap at his hand. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. Run, run, All right. <laughs> run. All right. If you I'm open gonna... this, we don't get paid. But uh... And he won't give us any more jobs. Oh, wait, but, we... but Pete, didn't you want to open it before? Probably, but I died <laughs> since then. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Do we know anybody that has some kind of scanner that we can use that might penetrate this material? Can we get an idea of what this material is? Can we get a, a hint of what we're pertaining? I think someone's it? frozen in carbonite. I know, but can we get an ID on them then? With like, some uh, kind of like... I mean, you you know what it is. I mean, it's just, it's a it's a very very secure, you know, safe like box. Um, you you, you know you you think you can get through it? It uh, you know. Uh, you probably be able to get through it if you're okay with somebody realizing that it's been opened. Um, does it have? It, does it have a control panel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can look inside, like with the computers, and like see if it knows what's inside of it without opening the box. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yo, dude, and, and no, open. no, it it won't do that for you. We we technically didn't open the box. Can we scan it with the ship? Uh, the, the scans won't return anything. It's it's shielded. Is there any planet or place that we know of that might have the tech that can that could <laughs> just just to just to, to short circuit the, the conversation? If you want to know what's inside the box, you're gonna have to open the box. Yeah. There's no way. We've My only other thought, guys, is that uh, we could always lie and say that I got open during the fighting because oh, our ship, yeah. our heck ship yeah. is. Our ship is super busted. Oh up. heck yeah! Let's pop that. So, but, but, show that baby open. Sorry. What okay. if? What if? What if the box records itself opening? 
Well, well our ship is still busted up. <laughs> and it'll yeah. have a picture of you, like... Oh, Does it have a camera it? on it? <laughs> Just break the camera. <laughs> let's make like let's get that old fog machine we used for the Halloween party last yeah, year. Exactly. And just like make it in the air, and then we'll be like, ah, Put a little bit of toilet it. paper on the cameras. You know. Captain, if you really insist on opening the box, you need to make sure that you can say you didn't open the box. You have to drop it from the atmosphere and smash the box. But this will be returned damaged. That's a good and I idea. I don't know that we would get paid for. We I didn't open the box. We dropped it. <laughs> well, we all know that carbonite. Can and be then a... we will never, ever get a job from this man again, and he <laughs> might kill us. Well, we might kill him. We might. That's up to you, Captain. I, I, let's go to a remote M-class planet. Drop the box from far enough <laughs> away, like you said. That's a good idea. Let it crack open. On a particularly jagged rock, and then we'll swoop down and be like, "Whoa, what happened?" <laughs> In case there's a recording device, uh, they won't know. I and... can't. I can't believe the box has done this to itself. I knew this box was trying to evade us. So we should get double the All pay. Right. All right. All right. So we navigate. So we're not. We're not opening it, I guess. I want to drop it. I want to open it. To... Are you I dropping it? Well, why don't we just break it open if we're going to yeah, drop it? Like, it if it's going to get destroyed, just break it open. Or don't open it at all. I feel like those are the only options. I'm going to break it open. I'm going okay. I'm gonna to hit a spice and then go over there. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, you know, you probably want to do a computer roll. That would be easier. The, yeah. The spice. I'm, I'm going to watch him short-circuit this box. So, a, com a computer roll... <laughs> Like I'm gonna, like, I want to give him tips on how to do it that are incorrect. I'm going to tell Pete <laughs> right before we do this. I'm like, look, dude, if you don't help the captain do this, we're all going to get in trouble anyway, and we're not going to know what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> Kick right. it up, you captain. So, what do we have to do to roll open it up with my computer? Let me computer see. versus. Uh, so, just to explain this a little bit, um, failing this, uh, failing this does not mean the box won't open, unless you just fail it uh, with uh, with more than three fa uh, failures. Um, it, but it will leave a record of you opening. If you succeed. Then it won't even leave that record, uh, but it will be five purple. It'll be five purple. Yep. I like guess three green. Uh, would he know that it's gonna be like really hard? Yes. I gotta, yes. Okay. I got a feeling that like this guy. Yeah. Do we have a white a light side dice? <laughs> Keep saying white side. Yes. You can use one. I'm gonna... So what does that give a blue? One yellow, no, no, two it green. Upgrades, it upgrades one of the yeah, one of the greens. Still one yellow, two green against three five purples. Mm -hmm. I I reached to do it and then I just realized I'm like, let's just turn this in. We'll we'll do this another time. I just decide like I'm about to pop it open, but I'm like, I want to get paid. Our ship is busted. Press breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I wasn't gonna back. I wasn't gonna go against the captain, but I also wasn't gonna. <laughs> I was like, our ship like like the ship makes well, a weird like <laughs> noise. Now that, like, now that you have uh, 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 used your better judgment, should you change your mind in the future? I'll do it, but in the future, if you change your mind. I feel you. Thanks, guys. I like group hug, group, group hug, and like, Every... I just like motion y'all over with like my hairless arms. Group hug. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like be kind of bleeding away as I like. 
<laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to pull you real, I'm going to pull you extra close. I'm like, and I'm going to whisper in your ear, Astrogate is out of here. All right. Are y'all going to turn it into lamb? Um, yeah, we're going to turn it into the lamb uh, line. All right. Uh, maybe, uh, like, I don't know how much further this was going to go. Maybe if we're not going to do a full meeting with lamb right now. Then You're not. We, this is going to be very short. Then... I would rather end it here and then let the captain think on whether he wants to open it in the future. I think I was pretty yeah. pretty Yeah, yeah we have about we have in. about 5 minutes left in box. What is that? Left in box. In the in the box uh adventure. Oh, so you're saying if we don't turn it in, Lambs would be like, "No, that's it, you're done. Bye." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. I, I want to turn it. That that was the. There's like one. a. What if there's a Jedi in it or something? Uh, you know? No, dude, it could be Ula. It could it's be my old Yoda. girlfriend. It's like, baby I don't Yoda. Know. It might or be baby Yoda. Yoda. Like, it could be, like, yeah. My girlfriend. I don't there's know. There's a lot of incentive to open it. But, but there's I, a lot I, of incentive. But, but we, look, we. Right now, we have one employer, pretty much. I'd like yeah. to have two. I'd like to have some variety. I like the way you think in this one aspect only. So I I want to I want to increase yeah. our employer yeah. base. So All right, turn All this right. in for now. Let's we can good. deal with like later. Like if it was Baby Yoda or whatever. Like we missed it, whatever. But we've got a nice. It's not some big plot point that will come back to kill us later. Yeah, exactly. An angry Jedi. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It's a clone of Murtex. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. you you meet uh, you meet Lamb Adelin and uh, in in your designated spot. Um, which, you know, it's kind of what, like, you know, kind of a private, uh, private, probably rented residence. Um, and he's very, very excited. Um, you know, he's uh, like, like he was before he's, uh, he, 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 he laughs a lot. He's very giddy and he, he's looking at, it, he's like, wait, y'all didn't open it. Can't believe that. Wow. I, 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 I must say I'm confused, but I'm much, I'm very impressed. Uh I'm going to point to the ship and be like, we had too much damage to our ship. We were hoping you could cover us. I think, uh, I think, yes, we could work out uh, a bonus. Uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very, very pleased. I, um, I would very much like to work with, uh, work with, with you again. And so, um, he, uh, he gives you all an extra 5,000, uh, it, in addition to the agreed upon price, which I'm going to have to look up, uh, in the previous, <laughs> Episode. I I, I want to I want to work up a whole trucking company. Like I like I think we should do like a whole like. Ah, now that's interesting. Company like you know. Like we could, I could, you know. I could, I could use some more trusted transport. If you know what I mean. Well, we're, well, we're looking to build a our establishment. So good, good, good. Okay. That's why we wanted to do this in good faith. I tell you what, before I leave the sector, I'll. We'll, we'll talk again. And um, he, uh, at, at that point, he kind of uh, uh, leads you to the door as he uh, kind of keeps eyeing his box and very, 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 very happy. Um, so the, the uh, unless there's something else you want to say at this point, uh, the y'all will be outside. Yes? Yeah, we, we, did, did. we didn't open the, but only almost. <laughs> we didn't tell him that no that's yeah. what matters uh so as you uh as the door slide shut you hear uh you hear just a, a rather muffled scream beside you just a kind of a yelp like outside with no us? no no behind the door where you just came uh -huh. what would you like to do like a muffled scream from inside where we just left. Like he opened the box and somebody screamed. <laughs> or maybe he would, the door closed and he got shot. Or maybe he's just so excited that he screamed. Or what did the, what kind of did it sound like? Someone in pain or someone screaming out of joy or someone? Did it sound surprise, like surprise? Surprise, possibly pain. Did it sound like him? Yes. What his voice? 
Is there... So the door just closed. There's a button to open the door back up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm going to sl I'm gonna slam my fist without saying anything and asking anybody. I'm just going to slam my fist, hit the button, open the door back up. Okay. And see what that was. In case we missed an important piece of information that our employer wanted to tell us. You know. So Totally. Behind the door... It. Behind the door, you see Lamb Adeline prone on the ground, his throat cut open. The box is gone. And now from outside, you're hearing the, the patter of many, many feet as stormtroopers descend on your location. Their weapons are up, and they tell you that you are under arrest for the murder of Lamb Adeline. And that is where we'll stop. Oh, about to say something. <laughs> Write it down. Save it. Oh, man. But it was so perfect. <laughs> uh, can I say it anyway? Go for it. Lamb Madeline. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. a good one. <coughs> We're just a door repairman. <laughs> Seems to be working good. See y'all later. <laughs> nice. All, All right. right. Well, I'm ready to go to bed. I appreciate y'all playing with me today and um, and hanging out. That was uh, finally got through box. I'm excited. For that employer. I know. For real. We should open the damn box. No. <laughs> Dang <No>. it. <laughs> Nah, because we already got the 5,000 credit bonus. We just got to get on our rest of We got to directly deposit it, right? Like, we, we're we the kind of people that wouldn't have left a room until we got the payment. You got the payment. So we got our ship's fix. Our, we got the payment to fix our ship, basically, and the full payment for that. So we it yeah. wasn't a total lose-lose. I mean, except unless we die right now. Yeah, or get arrested. And yeah. And take all our stuff. Because yeah. when I heard that he was dead on the ground, I was about to loot his corpse, but then stormtroopers showed up. <laughs> you can still loot his corpse if you, like, throw your voice. Like, like the stormtroopers are looking at us, and I just, like, go and take off his robe and put it on. And... <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Stop! Halt! What are you doing? I'm the Madeline. <laughs> and, and, and then y'all are going to tell the stormtroopers, but he, he doesn't understand common. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! Should have gone my gut. Well, uh, if it, if uh, we do have anybody on on stream, we appreciate you joining us, and um, we'll be back hopefully in a few weeks here, and uh, continue with uh, the next predicament for our adventures to get out of. Good luck, us. Yeah, no kidding. Somebody <laughs> needs to join in and to give you some uh, boost die. I don't know. <laughs> That you won't let us do it. I don't know. I thought we did pretty well. Yeah. It just, uh, I, yeah. yeah. That, that, uh, uh, yeah, your, your ship got more beat up than I thought it would. Uh, but that, that was a lot of fun. Y'all did well. That was cool. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, good night, stream. We're going to shut that one down.